you a lot of action through the years from different locations and venues but never probably never more unique than what we have tonight between leapers fort tennessee and franklin tennessee good afternoon everybody i'm dave mccully along with stan gerard this is a copyright broadcast at worthy road studios and we're glad to be with you tonight at grace christian academy here near leapers fort we came through there my first time ever through leapers fort been to franklin before but stan what a great setting it rained on us well, about a third of the way up here, yep. and uh, it's cleared off. We do have some overcast clouds a little bit, but we think the storms are going to go to our north. Now we're getting ready for week two of the high school football season, and the Lions battling the Lions, and our Lions need a win. It's the season debut of the Lions of Grace Christian, but, Sam, we need to bounce back from a tough loss, one that taking nothing away from Chester County, one we feel like we let get away the other day. Uh, we absolutely gift wrapped that vic that victory for Chester County last week but hey that's in the past we're worried about week two and that's Grace Christian in Franklin Tennessee and actually in between Leapers Fork and, and um, Franklin hey, like you said a people say the fans will see it right before kickoff we'll switch the camera live and they'll see the setting completely surrounded by trees the Harpeth River in the background a beautiful field here really nice flat field uh, great accommodations and what more can you ask for a very pleasant it's, when we left jackson this afternoon it was 100 degrees when we drove into the parking lot here it was 75 oh my what a difference a couple of hours can make no doubt about it the field goal and pas point after down to my left will remind me a lot of pikeville kentucky cooper bales knocks one in it's going to go in the, in the woods down there isn't it it certainly is and this field you know and this the 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 angle you have to view the angle we have and we were up just a little bit higher. You swear you're back at LL Fonville Field. Yeah, it's about as low as we'll be all year down on the uh, lower mezzanine of this press box. Good to be with you tonight. And again, we remind you this is a copyright broadcast at Worthy Road Studios. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, editing, or further use of the ball game blitz broadcast without the written consent of Worthy Road Studios. Paul Schultz and the gang is strictly prohibited. Stand 14 to 10. We lost last week, and uh, the Lions coming off an 8-3 year last year. Lost to Chester, as we mentioned. Meanwhile, Grace Christian, 5-5 five and five last season. They were eliminated in the D2 first round, D, D2A, I should say, first round playoffs by FACS in a high scoring affair, 56-42. to 42. You did the game notes, and I'm going to let you have the honor of reading them, sir. Well, once again, for those of you who don't know, this is the 30th year for football at Trinity Christian Academy. We are 156 and 172 overall. Tonight marks the 330th game in program history. GCF, they began playing football in 2014. They are 34 and 59 overall, and this marks the 94th game in program history. So they will hit, Grace, Grace Franklin will hit a magical marker of 100 football games this season, one of the, one of the uh, first of the high points that this program will have in the years to come. Uh, previous history, this is only the second meeting between these two teams. I happen to broadcast as a playoff game at TCA back in 2020. We met in the first round of the D2 Class A state playoffs. TC won that game by a score of 21 to seven. TC quarterback Jake Wilson ran the ball 18 times for 164 yards, a couple of scores. While GF GCF was led by quarterback Ashton Kelly, he completed 18 passes for 174 yards and one score. For Grace Franklin, they're in the direction of head coach Bob Jordan. This is his second year as the head coach. He was an assistant here before and he came to GCF from Evangelical Christian. And before you ask, him and Coach Butler did not cross paths during that time. He was 5-5 five and five last year. And like you said, they lost in their playoff game 56-42. to 42. TC, of course, under the direction of, of legendary Darren Bowling, his 33rd year as a head coach, 246-118 overall. He's 8-4 at TCA. And tonight marks... Coach Bowling's 365th, 365th game as a head coach. And incidentally, last last night marked his 29th birthday. That's what he told us today anyway. We may be a tad older than that, but not much. 
Jay Cash and our producer and director tonight. As always, great to be with him tonight, and we look forward to a good night of high school football. Let's take our first break, a two-minute break. We'll step out. The countdown to kickoff show will continue. We're about 24 minutes away. When we come back, Stan had a chance to talk to Darren Bowling. He'll talk to him just in just a second, and we'll come back and uh, let you hear that interview and get you ready for the kickoff coming up in just a little while. This is THA Football on the Ball Game Blitz and Worthy Road Studios via the Trinity Christian Academy Facebook page. Stay with us, everybody. For over 60 years, King Tire Company has been your trusted source for quality tires and auto care. Since 1959, our family-owned business, now managed by our third generation, has proudly served the community with three locations, East End Drive in Humboldt, Old Hickory Boulevard in Jackson, and Airways Boulevard in Jackson. From tires and alignments to oil changes, general repair, brakes, belts, hoses, radiators, and more, King Tire Company has the expertise and service you can count on. King Tire Company, keeping you on the road since 1959. Hi, I'm Stan Gerard for your local Food Right. Food Right is the home of the butcher. Food Right is proud to sell certified Angus beef. It's the very best there is. All of our beef, signature pork, and chicken products are cut and packed fresh daily by our in-store butchers. To feed your family well, Food Right, with 11 locations across West Tennessee, is where you need to go. Have a great day, everyone, and much more importantly, God bless. Automatic Transmission and Wrecker Service has been the trusted name in Jackson and West Tennessee for over 45 years. Our expert technicians, backed by over 125 years of combined experience, are here to handle your automatic transmission repair needs. Plus, our 24-hour Wrecker Service ensures you're never stranded. Find us at 3846 Brownsville Highway in Jackson or call 731-422-6356. For reliable transmission repairs and your towing needs, you can count on Clement Transmission and Wrecker Service. Buy a car in your bikini, buy a truck in your jammies, buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not, shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Roberts Jewelers, West Tennessee's premier luxury diamond jewelry store, family owned and operated for 78 years. Owner Janet Silver has a passion for hand selecting the best luxury jewelry from around the world. Roberts has the largest estate jewelry and diamond selection in West Tennessee. Roberts does custom design jewelry in their RJK state of the art custom design studio. Chris Case is the most certified jewelry design expert in the area. Book your custom design experience now at RobertsJewelersInc.com. Roberts Jewelers, 405 Van Drive, where West Tennessee gets engaged. Hey, Jackson, Chuck Hutton, Tennessee's trusted name in automotive excellence, is proud to announce the grand opening of Chuck Hutton Nissan. Now open at the I-40 and 45 Bypass right in the heart of Jackson. Come see why Chuck Hutton has been the go-to destination for car buyers in Memphis for over 100 years. Now we're bringing that same dedication and experience to Jackson. Come experience the Chuck Hutton difference for yourself. Chuck Hutton Nissan will have you saying, I'm going to Jackson. I'm speaking with the head coach of the TCA Lions, Darren Bowling. Coach, tough loss last week to Chester County. Somewhat controversial decisions, but as always, a chance for redemption as we hit the road to Grace Franklin. Yeah, last week was a tough game, first game of the year. Uh, you know, it was nice weather Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, Friday. It, it just became a scorcher, and, and uh, that, that's tough when you, when you have the numbers that we have right now and everybody playing both ways. Uh, Chester had, I don't know, 100 kids close to it on the sideline, and uh, uh, but I thought our kids fought. The effort was there. I, I'm not disappointed at all in their effort. Uh, and when they give you that kind of effort as a coach, it's your job to make sure we you give them a chance to win. And 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 we did have the chance. You know, we we were we were in a, a good position there with about a minute 50 to go in the game, and uh, you know it just uh, didn't work out for us. Talk about one thing I was always confused on: the end of the first half. It ended with a penalty on the offense, and then we get a free untimed down. I always thought if it was a penalty on the defense, you get a free untimed down, but they announced a penalty on the offense and a free untimed down. Can you elaborate on that? I, I can't. No, not, not the way it went down. It's hard to elaborate on, but uh, usually if it's a penalty on the defense, you know, you get a free untimed down. Uh, but um, anyway, you go into halftime and, and 
you know, we got a we got a chance to uh, to do some, you know, come out second half and and take care of the football and do some things, and uh, you know, we just ran out of juice, I guess you would say. And uh, I, the kids never quit. I mean, I'll give them that; they never quit, and, and I didn't see any quit in them at all. It was just the fact that. Uh, you know, you could tell they were starting to cramp up a little bit, starting to get a little bit slower foot than, than what they had in the first half and stuff like that. And it, it's not that they're not in shape, they're in great shape. It's just the fact that, uh, you know, it was a hot, hot night and a lot of people playing both ways. You had Hank playing center for the first time ever. So now he's on both sides of the football Friday night. and. Uh, you know, he's been used to playing one side of the ball, and so that, that kind of weighed on him a little bit mentally and physically in that game. And so you have those kind of situations, but Hank did a great job stepping in for us uh, at that position, and, and hopefully we can get him back on, on the defensive side now and, and uh, maybe be able to give some people some breaks on offense but not have to play both ways the whole game. I saw some outstanding effort out of some guys and some, a couple guys I thought may have been the best effort I've seen them in a TCA uniform. Kendall Boyle, you'll start at, start for you on the defensive line, and he was reacting so quickly he was making tackles, you know, and, you know, you know, past the linebacker position way on back. That tells me that cat's quick a foot a little bit. Yeah, Kendall, believe it or not, he's pretty athletic. He's got good feet and. Uh, he, uh, he's starting to really understand defense now. He's starting to understand the position, and, and uh, I was real proud of him myself uh, last Friday night and his effort and his play. And, and uh, if he can continue to do that all year, he's gonna, we're going to see some really big things out of him. Look at our opponent, Grace Franklin, a team last year at their quarterback threw for 17 touchdown passes, ran for 17 touchdown passes. I have double checked. He has gotten his diploma and has graduated. So it, it looks like they graduate a little bit. What can we expect out of Grace Franklin this year? Well, Grace is, uh, you know, they, they're Tony Franklin's system uh, team. They like to throw a lot of screens, spread you out with trip sets. Uh, and flex sets as well, but they're not afraid to short, shorten the game up with uh, five yard hitches and, and flat defenders and stuff like that. But then if you start creeping up too much, they'll go for the long ball on you. And you know, a lot of passing teams are that way. And so uh, we got to be prepared, uh, you know, definitely to, to trigger on, on the screen game, make sure we, we're in the right places on those and also be able to cover the deep ball. Defensively, uh, they run a 4-2-5, which is basically um, a little bit like one of the sets we do on defense. So we got some work, double work on that this week uh, from a defensive standpoint and from an offensive standpoint. And so uh, that was good for our younger guys as well. And, and uh, they've got some linebackers to play with, big up front. I mean, that's going to be a, a standing thing that we say all every, every week, you know, that the other team's bigger than we are and they've got more players than we've got. But I tell you, we've got a lot of heart and we've got kids that, that I love these guys and, and uh, you know, we're excited to get on the field. Looks like it, unless unless they have a transfer in that I don't know about, looks like it'll be a sophomore probably starting at quarterback who did not get a lot of PT last year at all. And you always like to pressure those young guys. I, I assume uh, Hammer and Hank might get to introduce himself to him a few times. Yeah, he, uh, you know, he does a good job. He's a good, good looking quarterback and uh, throws a good ball, runs the ball well. We didn't see a lot of run out of him in the scrimmages. They didn't play last week. And so we didn't get a game film on him. All we got was some scrimmage film and you know, uh, so, but what we have, we we feel like uh, we've been able to prepare for them, and they may throw one or two curveballs at us, but hopefully we'll we'll be hanging there and and, and uh, swing away. Coach, it's a long three-hour trip to Grace Franklin. Quick keys to victory uh, for the Lions tonight. Well, number one, we got to protect the ball. Number two, the effort that we gave last week, uh, ditto, do that again this week, and. Uh, and I think if, if we do those things, and of course, uh, you know, it's always going to be the teams that make the mistakes, and hopefully uh, we got a lot of those out of the way last week. So uh, those three things are, are going to be the key. Coach, Dave and I will be doing some hunting from in the, inside the box tonight. Good luck to the Lions. Let's bring home a big TCA victory. Sounds great. Thanks. That's the head coach of the TCA Lions, Darren Bowling. Let's go back for a timeout. You're watching TCA football on the Ball Game Blitz.
Hello, I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, a family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. Your checking account should be more than just a place to store your money. Our foundation benefits with high interest checking account, pays you interest, but also includes identity theft monitoring, cell phone protection, and roadside assistance. Start a financial conversation with us today by visiting our website, foundationbank.org, or call us on the number on your screen. In the meantime, God bless you. Terms and conditions apply. Foundation Bank is a member of FDIC and an equal housing lender. Let me tell you about the American dream. In 1974, I had $425 to my name. I bought 21 carpet remnants, rented an old lumber shed, and opened Deaton Drug Barn on East College. I worked long hours with hope of taking care of my family. I'm so thankful to Jesus who changed my life. He gave me a dream. So in 1985, we opened Deaton's Carpet One on the 45 bypass with a commitment to customer satisfaction. My friends, don't give up on your dream because your dream can come true. Why rent an apartment when you can lease a home? The Summit in Jackson offers two and three bedroom single family homes with lots of amenities. Enjoy the comfort and space in a gated community with smart technology, ADS security, and no maintenance. Short and long-term leases are available, so visit our website or call to schedule your tour today at the Summit in Jackson. Morgan Wealth Solutions LLC offers experienced and diversified services throughout the greater Tennessee area. Morgan Wealth Solutions specializes in water well drilling operations. They are experienced in the design, construction, and maintenance of wells from 4 to 16 inches in diameter and depths up to 1,000 feet. Water Wealth Solutions has three locations in Somerville, Brownsville, and Trenton. For a consultation, give them a call at 731-779-1275. For more than 60 years, Keen Tire Company has been your go-to source for quality tires and dependable auto care. Our Airways Boulevard location in Jackson has proudly served the community for decades, delivering the excellence you've come to rely on. Whether you need tires, oil changes, alignments, brakes, and more, Keen Tire Company has you covered. All tire sizes, ATV to light truck and beyond. Visit our Airways Boulevard location in Jackson today. Keen Tire Company, where long-standing tradition meets exceptional service. Diamond Dave McCulley will always stand Gerard back here at Grace Christian. And, well, again, between Leapers Fort and Franklin, Tennessee, about an hour and 50 minutes on the way up here. And we get you ready for high school football week two for our Lions. As we say that, right on cue, the Lions come out of the field. But in this case, it's the Lions of Grace Christian. T.J. will be coming out in just a matter of moments. We're in the lower deck of the press box, actually, on what would be the visitor side, looking across the way at the homestand. Stan, a very unique setting. We're glad to be here. The hospitality has been wonderful. You have some scores from last night and other games being played around West Tennessee tonight. Yeah, thank you very much, Diamond Dave. It's going to be Bolivar at Fayette Academy. We're going with Fayette Academy in that ball game. TRA makes a trip to Gibson County. I like TRA in this game. Peabody at Jackson Christian. Going to have to go with the Eagles in this one. FACS, a brand new program, Lakeland Prep. FACS, rumored to be very tough this year. Harding Welcome Academy is at West Carroll. I like Harding Academy in that students. ball game. Northside is at Liberty. Last night, JCM defeated Southside 30 to 14. USJ will go up to Union City. That's no going to be one of the really big ball games road, tonight. McNary Central is at Adamsville, the Highway 64 battle. Covington and Brighton, Brewston and Camden. Also, Our friends from Chester Foods, County are up at Milan tonight. Ripley is at Crockett County, lines, McKenzie at Dresden, Dyer County at Dresden, Bolton so at Fayetteware, Perry County at Gleason, Stewart County Greenfield, at Greenfield, Hardin County at Giles, Memphis Business at Haywood, Henry County at Riverside or Riverdale, Scotts Hill at Humboldt, Dyer County at Lake County, Diamond, Dyer County, Dyersburg lost last week to Dyer County. They've got to travel to Lake County. Lake County, even though they're Class A, always a tough place to play. I'll bet you Lake County gives Dyersburg all they can handle tonight. I bet they will, too, and I wouldn't be surprised if Lake County just plays them right to the very end and maybe pulls off an upset. Dyersburg really struggled against Dyer Before County. Lake County very athletic year in, year out. The captains for TCA, Caleb Williams, Joshua Delk, and C.J. Lewis. Delk had three touchbacks last week and averaged 35.3 yards per punt and had a couple of receptions as well, scored a touchdown. TCA decked out in the purple britches tonight with white jerseys, black helmets, TCA scripted in purple, trimmed in white, numbers in white on those, or purple I should say, on those white uniforms, Dan. I love this color scheme. It is a great color scheme. Most importantly, we can see the numbers and on this And numbers one. easy to read, no doubt numbers about it. Numbers easy to read. 
should help us being a little bit lower seam and having the monitor and that's going to help now the black as on well. red across the way excuse that's me a little not, bit tougher that's going to be a little tougher for us little but we tougher. are we as about as close to the field as we'll ever be all year i mean it's what, what was that also, uh, one commercial reach out reach out and touch medicine. someone yeah. thank you we're pretty much going to be able to do that tonight almost literally i mean we could we could sit there and shake if we ever wanted to give uh some offensive help to Coach Mancini. Tonight will be the night. We'll be that close. Yeah, we are that close, no doubt about it. Jay Cashin, our producer and director, we remind you this broadcast being brought to you by the Ball Game Blitz and Worthy Road Studios and the Trinity Christian Academy Facebook page. Coach Bowling right below us here, legendary in his own right, four state titles. Stan told you earlier, one of the winningest coaches ever, 246 wins, 365 games. Stan, that's a lot of snaps, a lot of punts, a lot of Kicking, a lot of receiving, a lot of running, isn't it? It certainly is. Yeah, look at this Grace Franklin team. Big losses from last year. They lost their quarterback, Davidson, last year. He threw for 1,598 yards and 17 touchdowns. He also ran for 880 yards and 17 touchdowns. So 34, 34 of their touchdowns went by the wayside this year. They lost a running back who had 456 yards and a wideout who had 253 and, you know, some tough news for, for Grace Franklin. Their number one receiver, uh, number four, Tucker Wolf, out for tonight with a stress fracture. And something I didn't learn, they had another young man uh, named Warren DeGraff who was expected to be a huge contributor this year. Unfortunately, on the sidelines for the year, battling leukemia. So for those of us at Trinity Christian, can we certainly wish uh, sure. that young man a, a – uh, Lots of thoughts and prayers as he's got a heavy, heavy battle ahead. Great shot of our cheerleaders, no doubt, Stan. Very well put. Great shot of our cheerleaders. The team actually walked behind us and down to our left now, and they'll be uh, welcomed out on this field by the TCA lovely cheerleaders down to our left. TCA getting ready to do battle here with Grace Christian, and we are glad you're aboard with us tonight. And, of course, Stan, last year, uh, one of the more unique, this is a unique setting, but one of the more unique happenings last year when we tried to play this bunch at our place. Yeah, the, this is the night the lights went out in Jackson. Actually, they never would come on, and I, I've been given some inside information. Yeah, well, they, actually, you know, deep within the Grace Franklin program, <laughs> yes, uh, their student section is, is maybe playing a little bit of shenanigans, good humored shenanigans towards here. TCA this season somewhere. Tackle during the Our course of the game. Easy. Let's take a two-minute break. We'll come back. Kickoff's coming up next here on Worthy Road Studios and the Ball Game Blitz. Stay with us. Two minutes. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care, and let your smile say it all. For the past 22 years, Tennessee Tractor has been committed to you, our customers. That's why our locally owned business delivers great John Deere products with great service at a great price. From the backyard to the back 40, whatever size project your family's got, you can rely on us to help you get it done. From our friendly staff to our reliable equipment and our quality service, Tennessee Tractor has one goal, to keep you and your family up and running. Hometown value, hometown service. That's Tennessee Tractor. At Foundation Bank, we love working with small businesses and we serve them uniquely through truly local decision making and underwriting. But we're more than a lender for your small business. We're also a source of financial counsel. Hey, running a small business can be hard and complex, but we can help. Let us learn more about your small business by visiting our website, it's foundationbank.org, or call us at the number on the screen. In the meantime, God bless you. Foundation Bank is a member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hi, I'm Cody Fitz with Fitzcapes. Our business's focus is on building your dream yard at your dream home. When designing our backyards, we always like to start with our pool and patio areas first. Then we complement that with the landscaping and we finish with the lawn for all of the outdoor entertaining needs. After installation is complete, we provide annual maintenance for all of your lawn care and landscaping needs. Fitzcapes, let's build something beautiful. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. 
We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your team sports. You can email or call us for all your team sports needs. Great American Sports, make sports an addiction. Back here in Franklin, Tennessee, alongside Dime and David Colley, I'm Stan Gerard. We're just minutes away from the kickoff of tonight's ball game between your TCA Lions and the Lions of Grace Franklin. Dave, you look at this field, you can almost close your eyes and, th and think that we're back in Denmark. No doubt about it. And that's been a few years ago. I told you before we went on the air tonight, it reminds me a lot when my Lambeth days, we traveled up to Tusculum College a couple of times. Reminds me a little bit of Pikeville, Kentucky, although we don't have the mountains around us, but we do have the trees. It's a beautiful setting, Stan, absolutely gorgeous. And we want to thank Mr. McNatt for the great courtesy and the great hospitality he issued to you and myself, along with Jay Cash. I mean, just fat, these folks here at Grace Franklin, absolutely fabulous hosts tonight. And he did not say the cripple guy and his dad. No, they, he had the <laughs> class not to do that. But what that, what that gentleman from FACS did say, it was funny. It was funny, Jay. I think, I think Jay got the bigger kick out of that than anybody I know. But um, Mainly out of the cripple guy. A little guy. delay, about three and a half minutes before. And Stan, as we count the clock down here, we heard from Coach Bowling a moment ago. The captains are making their way to midfield. We mentioned that uh, Caleb Williams, Joshua Delk, C.J. Lewis. I'll spot the captains for Grace Christian across the way very quickly here. It will be uh, Isaiah Myers, also number 63. Gavin Sinters also will be um, Whit Birch and Hunter Wyatt, Hunter H. Wyatt, as a matter of fact. Those are the captains for Grace. As we await the coin toss, Stan, your thoughts. We heard from Coach Bowling. Your thoughts about the keys for a line. Come back win tonight after dropping that first game of the year last week. Well, of course, you know, TCA with every offensive weapon back from last year. Grace Franklin lost most of their weapons. They return, they return uh, Hunter Wyatt at a receiving position. They also, and he's also going to run the ball as well for them. But uh, a lot of unknowns for this Grace Franklin team. Some personnel who got some PT last year, others who didn't get much at all. So it's going to be the great unknown for them. How are they going to react? A lot of their, a lot of their first line skill players are getting their first ever varsity action. No doubt about it. We'll wait to coin toss. Turf looks like it's in great shape, Stan. It's it's solid. It's for the most part pre-level, well maintained. They had a couple three games on here earlier. They had to practice on the field earlier. This week, because of uh, some, because uh, the temperature they had to GCA come out during the night, they dodged the rain. Mr. McNatt told us when we arrived and led us through the gate, and uh, dodged the rain. But more, we, you and I ran through a pretty heavy downpour a couple of times. Well, on the TCA actually, Grace, Grace Franklin won the won toss, the toss yeah. and they've elected to defer the second half. TCA will defend. Will have the ball start the game. They will defend the north goal. This field running north and south. And just about set to get underway here for high school football. It's going to be a dandy. We'd like to remind you that tonight's broadcast is brought to you in part by the Blacksmith Restaurant, Chuck Hutton Nissan, King Tire Company, Jones Chevrolet, Deaton's Carpet, Elite Dental, Humboldt Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep Ram, McCoy's Heating Air, King Jewelers, Foundation Bank, Great American Sports, Fitscapes Lawn Service, The Summit of Jackson, Roberts Jewelers, the fine folks at Food Right, Waterwell Solutions, Tennessee Tractor, and Farm Beer Insurance, and that's our friend, Mr. Vance. You talked to him when we came that in. Agency. I always saw him as he would come in. Also, BH Social and the original advertiser for TCA football way back in the day. They're back with us once again, Jim and Connie Clement. Clement Transmission and Record Service. Great friends of ours, yep. no doubt. Michael Mancini, Nathan Bibb, Will Brasher, Thomas Henderson, Mark Jackson. Matt McGee is the tech and replay and really a jack of all trades for this bunch here at Trinity Christian. And he's told me that his lovely mom, Sarah, and his dad, Casey McGee, good friends of ours, they're watching tonight back in Jackson. Larry Vales also couldn't make the trip, so he's uh, watching this broadcast back deep for TCA. It's going to be Lakai Tompkins. Well, he's going to be in the middle. It's going to be Waller. It's going to be Williams. And it looks like it's going to be Atwood, the deep three for TCA. We apologize a couple of number snafus last week, but the numbers were riding up on those jerseys. So we'll try to get that straight for you grandmas, granddads, and moms and dads out there, aunts and uncles and friends. 
Well, Stan, we're right on the action, aren't we? I mean, if if, if there's an errant pass, I'll have to go on my left to protect Jay. Of I feel like I'm in the game here. Just about. Had a little snafu we're, with the clock here. We're, we're, on, we're on the bench, though. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> Triple zero is up there at the moment. I mean, we could just jump over this little small rail here and be right on top of the uh, TCA players here on the sidelines. And still having some troubles with the clock, and we'll see what is going to go on here. Nice crowd here. A great crowd from Grace Franklin. Their stand's pretty much full. You can see the main stand's right in front of us. Their student section is to uh, your left as you're watching this broadcast. TCA with a good group that made the trip over from Jackson tonight. Down to our left and up on the hill to and, our right. And, and our hill in the end zone in the club, club level seats. Yeah, no doubt about it. I it mean, reminds me of the seating around Jackson Christian. You know how they sit on the end yeah. zones a lot. Yep. Well, all of these, these are elevated seats here, though. Yeah, they are. Down so to you get a better view. Well, Williams. And, and, and you don't have to sit next to some guy named Hamilton. I know. That's yeah, so exactly right. You know they know. We love you, Bill. Yep, no doubt. And the kicker will kick it away and will be one Maddox Stevenson. Stevenson set to get kick off. TCA in the road whites. We're just about set to play, and with the call of the game, Diamond Dave McCauley. Thank you very much, Dan. It's a short kick, actually, at about the five-yard line. Here comes Waller right at us. He's coming right near the sideline here. He's up the field and knocked out of bounds. Oh, and Dan, we don't have a great angle at the yard markers, but it looks 32. like he's at the 32-yard line. We'll have to watch our monitor a lot for that tonight. Yeah. Well, Mr. Bales will bring out the offense. Cooper last week, 15 of 25, 217 yards with a touchdown. But remember, he had a good night throwing football, but he was chased unmercifully. He was really running for his life night. a few times as well. So let's see what we're going to see in the offense. It's They're going to be pistol. Tompkins at the tailback. Yep. He's in the pistol right behind Vales. Two receivers here to the near side, one far side left. The shifting around on the defensive side of it there. You see a good shot of that right there in front of you. Now we have a whistle, and what do we have? Somebody jumped off Somebody sides. jumped off sides. So it's going to be first and five. down still. And the ball will, bring up will be at the, what well, they move it to, Stan? To they the moved it to the 37-yard line. will be first and five for the Lions. Well, you like that, the way the game starts? Always do. White hat back there with his hand stretched up in the air. Cloudy conditions a little bit up to our north, but all in all, I think we're going to be okay tonight. Vale's in that gun. He'll give it to Tano. He's going to fake it to him and throw it out here to Gabe Lee. Lee's on his feet to the 40. He's got the first down and more to about the 43-yard line before he's finally knocked down. And on the tackle was Hunter Wyatt and a flag on the flood. It hurt us a lot as we gave you know, as we gave away a yards in bunches in the fumble that they end up returning for a touchdown, and now at 10 yards, so it's going to be first and 10. Well, from the spot at the 42, they move it back to the 32. It's going to be first. Well, we're right back where we started from at 15 seconds ago. We're underway here tonight <laughs> at Grace Christian. Tompkins in that pistol behind Bales. They put a man in motion. They give it to Lakai. Lakai right up the middle will plunge his way to the 35, and it's going to pick up about maybe to the 36. Let's give him four stands, second and six. That's going to be not more than three. No, they only gave him three, the 35. Yeah, I thought he got more. Second down and seven. Hashmart left. Big lion color work there at midfield, the logo. Michael Mancini calling in the plays. And Cooper's going to turn around and say something to Lakai. It's second and seven from the 35. Underway in the first quarter, no score. 10.55 left. Bales drops back. Bales throws. Going He's long. got Waller down here. Waller's got that football to the 20, to the 15, to the 10. Touchdown, Lions! That, my friends, Touchdown pass for is a 50, 60, 7, 68 yard touchdown pass. 65, Stan. 65 Remember, we had yards. the three yards. Yes. Bales to Waller. Boy, that's been something we've said a lot through the years, isn't it, Stan? Said a lot. And Waller with his first touchdown of the year. He's over 100 now in the season with only five catches on the season. Then Bales on for the extra point conversion. At Wood to hold. And it's 6 nothing, just like that with 10.45 in the first. 
Cooper Bales, he does everything. Snap back, high snap. Atwood pulls it down, and Bales knocks it through. It is a 7-0 game. We'll take a 30-second break. We're back with the Lions on defense. A good start here on the road in Franklin. Stay with us, everybody, on Worthy Road Studios in the Ball Game Blitz. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Town is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Oh, Diamond Dave, Steelers wheel playing. I've got a clown and Jade to my left, a joker like you to my right. <laughs> Perfect music time. And, and, and a special nod to the folks playing the music yeah, they're great. for Grace Franklin. They're doing a great job with the tunes. Right up our alley, no uh, doubt it, about it's, it. It's right in my wheelhouse. Well, the Lions strike, and they strike quickly. It's a 7 nothing game. So if you're just joining us, well, you missed a touchdown. Nine, Bales to Joshua Waller. Delk. Joshua Delk, Delk has really developed into a great a kicker. Yeah. And he'll PCA kick it away. Two, Remember, it's going to be Spencer. Spencer. All his kicks have gone out of the back of the end zone so far this year. Well, they've gone for touchbacks. Back to receive this kick. Delk gets a signal. Here we go. Number 15. Also back there will be Heron. And it's going to be into the end zone at sales, and that's his fourth touchback of the year. Boy, that, what a great weapon it is to have somebody that you know you can count on to consistently put that ball across the goal line and give your opponent tough field position to uh, start a drive. And they will have it no first problem. and 10 on the 20. <laughs> the quarterback will be the junior, Knox Lambert. And we'll see what kind of uh, formation they come out here, Stan. They send one receiver far side right, two here to the near side. Lambert, they've got the running back, the pistol behind him. That's going to be Heron behind him. They put a man in motion. That to the far side left is Spencer. Hand off, Heron. Heron will move his way till about maybe two or three yards. Did he get back the line of scrimmage, Stan? I couldn't tell. That was uh, maybe White. Maybe a yard? Yeah, White with that run picks up one on the play. Wyatt, 21. 21 carried it? Yeah. So Wyatt carried it for only a yard. It's going to be second out of nine. Lions have a chance here to keep them pinned in their own territory, get a couple more stops here, and then make them punt it. Man in motion here to the near side this time. And the quarterback drops. He wants to throw. Lambert running for his life. And running and now just throwing out of bounds. Great pressure. That pressure came from Case and White that time and others. And Stan... The quarterback, Lambert, had no other choice. He threw that over the heads of the reserves here on the sidelines for TCA right at you. That was just, that was almost three day. I mean, it was coming right for Jay's eyes, no right doubt. between them. And he never flinched. Third he, down and he, nine. He knew I was there to bat the ball away. 10.07 left here in this first stanza. TCA's on the board. They lead 7-0 on a long 65-yard touchdown pass. Bales to Waller. Quarterback Lambert back there with White behind him. Looks this Pass time, left. throws very quickly, and it's going to be incomplete. Great coverage. Caleb Williams, outstanding coverage on the intended receiver, Grayson DeGraff. And, you know, he had him covered like the morning dew. Like the morning dew, no doubt about it. Well, you score, you make it 7 nothing, and then you get three up, three down. You couldn't ask for a better start if you're Coach Bowling. You hold the one yard on their offense. Don't Didn't see how good their punter was doing during the warm-ups. And they're going for it here. It's fourth and nine. They'll drop him back, yeah. I would imagine, and punt this ball. No, they haven't yep. yet. We're going to call a timeout. With that, we're going to take a break. It'll be a 30. We're back after this on the Ball Game Blitz. Timeout. King Jewelers is not your typical run-of-the-mill jewelry store. Grover is a certified jeweler with 35 years' experience. This isn't just a jewelry store. It's an iconic symbol of love. How far would you go for love? King Jewelers, 16B, Conrad Drive, Jackson. And welcome back, Trinity Christian Academy, with the 7 to nothing lead over Grace Franklin. Grace Franklin will, have, will be facing a fourth and nine. And right here, Grace Franklin, right now, they're getting their funk on, Diamond. Yeah, they no doubt about it. Love the music. Knox Lambert, guys behind me here, the coach is telling us that Knox Lambert's also the punter. He's a 6'1", 190 junior. And the Lions will expect to punt, I would think, this time. Yeah. 
you got you got to watch so you never know. Yep. Uh, we've we've seen teams do well, stranger they, things. They've from, got Lambert back there in the gun. Let's see if they drop him back and punt it or will so they go for it. We're playing normal. It's fourth and nine. They're trying to draw TCA off sides. Yeah. Did not work. Yeah, now he's stepping back a little yep. bit. He's going to step back and quick punt it here. And he does punt it and gets it out of there. Shank it. Short Get away from Shanked it this over time. To the right and it skitters out of bounds, literally at about the 35-yard line. Pick up of about nine on the punt. Yep. So TCA is going to have the ball in great field position. Looks like we're going to have it about the 32-yard line to start this drive. TCA first and 10 deep inside GCF territory. Everything going TCA's way right now. And here's Bales out. Hash mark left this time. Moving to our right toward the school end zone. In the pistol again is Tompkins behind him. Two receivers here to the near side, Waller and Delk. That means Williams would be far side left. TCA side of the field. Play. Yep. Coach Bowling bending over here and watching anxiously as Bales awaits the snap. Cooper, the Koopmeister. Play fakes it to Tompkins. He throws it. It's going to be caught, and that's going to be Waller with it. And Waller is going to struggle and get inside the 30, down to about the 26 or 27-yard line. It was not deep that time, and it left Waller open. open. It's going to be a great replay. Here. Yeah, two receptions and that's for 71. Going to be Waller Breaks the first it. tackle, gets some yards, and a decent Waller's game. Waller is going to be, be second and four. Excuse me, Stan. Career-wise, it would be interesting to see how many yards after the catch and after the initial hit, Waller takes and he then gets. He gets a bunch. He comes back in motion now. Now he'll move back, and the Lions again will set up shop and watch for the play call. Coach Michael Mancini's above us up here. Bales gets the call. It's 9-12 left in the first. TCA leads the game 7-0. In the pistol again is Tompkins. They give it to Lakai. Lakai, not much. Picks up maybe one. Plunge for about a yard, and that's it. Good defense by that D-line of the Lions of Grace Christian. Here you're going to see on the replay, straight hand up off the A-gap there. And they read that. They have blitzing middle linebacker and read that perfectly and was able to wrap him up. And a, a, a good defensive stand for GCF after giving up yards on offense. Amaker, the first guy there. Three receivers, trips far side. Of the field. Gabe Lee, the lone receiver here, single coverage. They shade him a little bit over here. And it's third down. Bales drops. Bales throws out of the flat. That's going to be Waller. Waller breaks the tackle. That's the yards we talked about. Still on his feet inside the 20, inside the 15, down to the 10. And Waller, again, making the initial guy miss stand and picks up a first down and more. So he's going to pick up a. Uh, 23, 30 yards on the play. Yeah, he's deeper than I thought. Hard to see here at our angle, but uh, as low as we are, with great accommodations. We appreciate the hospitality. He's at the one-yard line. So it's going to be first and goal. So Tompkins, I would think. Yeah, Waller with only three receptions, already over 100 yards on the evening. This would cap off a 32-yard drive after the poor punt. Tompkins has it. Tompkins has the touchdown. Touchdown, Lions. Offensive line doing their job. The score by Tompkins with his first score of the year. Touchdown, Only three touchdown. carries for five yards, but his run gives TCA the 13-0 lead. Well, three up, three down defensively after you score. You lead 7-0, and then you go in from 32 yards after the poor punt. And TCA's opened it up to a quick 13-0 lead with exactly eight minutes left in the first. And again, Atwood, the holder, veils the kicker. 13-zip. The Koopmeister back there. Here's... The snap back, ball down, kick up, and it is good. It's 14 to nothing. We'll take a quick 30 again. Lions back on defense, and a great start here on the road in Franklin. Stay with us, everybody, on the TCA Football Network, Worthy Road Studios, and the Trinity Christian Academy Facebook page. For over 60 years, King Tire Company has been a trusted name in quality tires and auto care. Proudly serving the Jackson community for decades from our old Hickory Boulevard location. With tires, alignments, oil changes, AC repairs, brakes, belts, hoses, radiator repair, and more. King Tire Company delivers the expertise and reliability you can depend on. Visit King Tire Company on Old Hickory Boulevard in Jackson today, where decades of experience meet top-notch service. And welcome back to Grace Christian Academy, Franklin Campus. We're in between Leapers Fork and Franklin, Tennessee. TCA with a 14-0 lead on the Lions. 
Janice, Janice Baumgarten sitting there watching this game with Brother Rodney, some hot cocoa and some popcorn. Rodney's oh getting ready for that UK yeah. Southern Mississippi <laughs> game tomorrow night. I'll be on the air with Bethel. But Joe folks, if you've never been to Leapers Fort, you need to take a Saturday and you and the missus drive up here and see it. It's one of the more unique little places we've ever driven through. Delk to kick it away. It's a low and it's going to low kick and it's going to be gathered by one of the up men. And he is uh, going to be Ben Hastings brought it back. I love these coaches and the guys behind us because they can spot things standing up a little higher than we can, can't they? It makes us sound, back. Makes yeah. us sound smart than we actually are. You guys are making us sound better than we really are because I'm listening to you call out who's got the ball. So we appreciate you guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> okay. 34-yard line. So there it will be Knox Lambert in the gun again. Back to his left. Hands it to him. And he will uh, get maybe a few yards. That's going to be carrying it. Hunter A. Them. Yeah, it, you, you look at it. It, it, it looks like you know, we match up size-wise pretty well with, these, with uh, this. Walking right in front of me there doing a moment. He, Melissa, and uh, Jeremy, and mom and dad. Here's the ball tipped up in the air. Great play there. It was either Tompkins or who got a hand on that stand? Uh, Tompkins may have got a hand on it. We're going to catch a replay and we'll see who he is. Here you see Lakai blitzing. He had some help back there, too. Actually, uh, it was. Uh, yeah, was it Lakai? It looked like it was number uh, 60, Connor K. Yeah, it was big Connor K there with the uh, knockdown. Here we go again. Third down and long. Lions a chance to hold him again. Lambert looks, Lambert throws over the middle. It's caught, nice catch, but oh. short, boy. It was caught. Nine caught it. That's Jacob Gillis. But, boy, he was popped right at the point of the catch. It's going to be fourth and about a yard. Do they go for it if you're the Lions of Grace Christian stand? Uh, you might want to do it. I, sure. You're down 14 nothing, with 6.55 left in the first. They are going to go for it. Lambert. They're going to try and draw us off sides. They're trying to draw, did. and nothing there. Defensive line staying right there at home. Always look at that ball and don't listen to the quarterback. Yep. He's back there again, puts his back wide to his right this time. Now they do take the snap. He throws out of the flat. It is caught, and uh -uh. he is going to make oh. it. Second effort made, let him have it. And the Lions had coverage there, Stan, and had a shot at him, but could not pin him. Coach Bowling right in front of us, not happy with that. Well, it's pretty close. Uh, they're I'm saying he's sure. short. I don't, knee hit, yeah, the I knee hit down. It. Yeah, the knee, you can see the knee hit down. He reached the ball out like he was trying to score a touchdown with it, but they marked it from where the knee went down. So T, oh, now they give it to him. Yeah, Thank Coach Bowling looked at it and didn't squawk. So he got it by the nose of the football, to be honest with you. He's walking out. He's going to talk to the official down to our left. Who was that that caught that? That was uh, caught by nine, Gillis. Gillis again. for the second. Yep. Lambert drops. Lambert wants to throw. Lambert does throw, and it's caught. And it's caught in a nice slant in pattern by 23. Samaki. And he's got a first down and more in T's side. Well, maybe a yard short. Down to the TCA 46 yard line, 47. Yeah, they're gonna Second and two stand. Nine yard pickup. Good slant in pattern. Hard to defend, run. that, isn't it? Uh, very tough to defend. So it's second and two. Williams in on the tackle. Lambert. On the logo. Slow snap, but he's got it. Looks, wants to throw. Pressure. He's going to flush, be flushed out of there. He's going to run it for the first down and more. And, boy, the Lions trip him up and knock him down at about the 44, but not before he gets a Lion. First down for Grace he's Christian. For and the Lions of Grace Christian have down. something going, Stan. Yeah, they, we had great pressure on the outside, forced him into the pocket and step up. Good pursuit there, though, by TCA, but it is enough for a GCF first down. They moved it from their 34 down to TCA's 44. And it's first and 10. They put a man in motion this time. That's Gillis that comes this way. Triples now to the near side here, right in front of us. Lambert gives it off to the quarter, or running back as Wyatt. Wyatt has that right edge. He turns downfield, and he's inside the 35, stand down to about 12 yards. And we're uh, let's watch it, Stan. Here's the replay. They pinned us in, didn't they? Yep. Wyatt now with three carries for 15 yards of the night. And the Lions of Franklin starting to feel their oats a little bit. 14 nothing. TCA has been all Lions of TCA thus far, but the ball's inside the 
35 yard line to the 34, first and 10. From the 34 Pressure. to the 34. And he has hit, and a great rush there that time. What a nice rush by C.J. Lewis, his granddad watching tonight, 92 years old, watching the game tonight. And C.J. came in right that time and knocked that ball up and knocked the arm up in the air, which the ball fluttered harmlessly to the ground. Came off that edge, unblocked there, and makes a big play. They were looking to go over the top and deep, brings up uh, second and long. That's a big play, Stan, because yeah. they had all the momentum. It time yeah. is that momentum a little bit for the moment anyway. Now the lines come at him again. Lambert rows here, throws. It's got to be picked off. It's picked off down there, and the Lions come up with it. And let's see who picked that ball off. Intercepted by Gabe Lee. The little general. Gabe Lee, the general. How about that? Gabriel Mom and Dad Lee. are happy with that, Stan. Yep. And that negates what had been a thrust offensively for the Lions of Grace Christian. So Grandpa Ray Ray is uh, happy in his easy and chair. And Miss Carey, home. yeah. Yep. And so TCA would take over after shutting down Grace Franklin. Grace Franklin had a drive going, but turnovers will bite you every time it did for the Lions of Franklin. Great people, the Garings. Well, the Lions now will have it at their own 15, first and 10. Great read by Gabe Lee, and he went high and outstretched those arms in the air and got it. Now, look, a little bit of a unique view with the camera angle, you can really see the, the, the splits and the gaps yeah. on the on the line and the line play here. You love that when you're in the offensive oh. line, those gaps. Here's the ball caught by Gabe Lee for a short gainer up to about the 20. He's going to pick up five here to the near side. It's going to be second and five. Gabe Lee? Hey, yeah, we'll call that five. It's uh, b -b -b Lee with his first catch of the night. So Lee with the interception, then the reception. Well, they give you, you, you four make a, just short of the You 20, make a big defensive 20. play, you generally get the ball right back. Absolutely. Boy, Grace Christian almost jumped again. Second and a short six. The ball near the 25-yard line. Clock running, 4-15 to the first. TCA leads the game 14-0. Two possessions, two scores. One a 65-yard drive, one a 32-yard drive. Lakai has it. Lakai stiffs arms the defender. He's going to turn the corner at the 30. He's going to be run out of bounds finally at about the 40-yard line. Nice pickup on Tompkins the play by Lakai Tompkins. Tompkins. Flag on the play. Flag, oh, on Normally the play. Normally that's holding. <laughs> it looked like Lakai may have got a hand in the face mask of the guy. I couldn't Possible. tell. Possible. Tried to stiff arm him. No holding on the lines. Holding on. Where well, we were told the student body, we had a little special presentation night to TCA after the lights went out. At they didn't say when it would be delivered, though. Did not. That's an old song they're playing there, too, isn't it? Pressure. 403. The late Eddie Moore used to love to walk up to, to opposing teams and say, you are under pressure. <laughs> we miss him. Ball will be Every marked day. back inside the 20 at about the 17. It's going to be second down now. Stan, we have to get what? Let's see. We have to. Gotta get about to the 25, 24. Just hard to tell here. Yeah, 30, yeah, 24, I think, yeah. 25, you're right, right on target. Eagle Eye Gerard. Play fake to Tompkins over the middle of Waller. Waller, double dipped. He caught it. It oh, went three times over the air. Up, Down to catch him. 35 uh -uh. 30, 25 20, 15 10. Waller coasted to the end zone. Touchdown, Lions. 17, a 83 yard. And Stan, watch the, watch the replay as he the ball went up in the air and he bobbled it a couple of times and he came back up with it and scores. Waller with his second touchdown of the night, 65 and 83. So 184 total yards on four receptions and two monster touchdowns. Remember he had that record setting performance at Franklin or at a Fay Academy last year, place kick up. A low and it's kick this time, but it's high enough. 21 nothing, Sam. You remember at Fay Academy last year, he had that record-setting performance, 300 plus yards, fourth all-time best in the state of Indiana or in the state of Tennessee. And this is the first quarter, and he's got 184 yards. Dig out the record books. We're back in 30 on the ballgame blitz. Don't get hit with big repair bills. 
Keep your heating system off the disabled list with a preseason checkout from McCoy's Heating and Air Conditioning. Our technicians are specially trained to get your system in shape for the fall and winter seasons. You can sit back and enjoy the game knowing our York certified and trained technicians can repair or replace your HVAC system, keeping everyone happy and you off the bench. Let McCoy's tackle your system's maintenance. Your HVAC system's MVP, McCoy's Heating and Air. Braden Waller, 184 yards on four receptions, two monster touchdowns in TCA with a 21-0 lead here with three and a half to go in the first quarter here at Grace Christian Academy, their Franklin, Tennessee campus, Dave. You understand what a catch. The ball was thrown a little high. He knocked it up in the air, and, and about the third time, it skittered back to him, and he caught it. Here's the kick. And it's going to be at the one yard line. That's going to be Lambert bring it out. And Matt hard. He's going to be about hit hard about the 25. Yeah, Dave on that play, on that play. You saw when he caught it. You saw why exactly why he was a member of that state championship track team for TCI, that state championship relay team, as he took that leg and he just ran away from the defenders. Joe Cole, and also. Back there with him, too, was uh, a couple of the lines. Mr. Hilton was back there as well. First and 10, handoff, little running back, spot. nothing. I mean, uh -uh, nothing. I lost a little bit. And that kick or that tackle, Wyatt carried it. And guess who caught him? Hammering Hank, number 22, Miller. Hank Miller, 15 tackles week. He was tied for fourth in the state of Tennessee. And I'm not talking Division II, the entire state of Tennessee tied for fourth with 15 tackles, was the number two tackler in Division II Class A last week. Second down and long, a little over 10 yards. Lions lead the game 21-0, 2.51 left in the first here at Franklin tonight. Lambert throws, and it's caught, and they say he dropped it. Yep. He did that attempted catch to Jacob Gillis. Ball thrown like a bullet, hit him right in the breadbasket stand, but it was a little low, wasn't it? This guy, this, this G, he's got a nice arm Got a nice arm, he's he got, does. He's got good height, he can see the field well, and he's got a good strong arm. Slow to get up that time, they'll move the ball back to the line of scrimmage, it's going to be third down. Third and 10, the ball at the 25 yard line. So the Lions will get a chance to stop him here and get the ball back. Low snap, pressure. and here's the pressure, and that's going to be well yeah. overthrown. Nice defense there by Williams. And tempted receiver was Grayson DeGraff. Other scores from around West Tennessee. Haywood County leads Memphis business 8-0. It is Milan out to the 16-0 lead over Chester County in the first quarter of that ball game. And... I know Gail Presley is tuned in tonight. Gail, I wasn't able to make grief share today because we had to hit the road early. We'll see you next Friday. Here's a punt this time, a much better punt, but not real long, but it takes a great Grace Christian roll, bound its way, roll its way, tumble its way down to about the 35-yard line. Diamond, you had some games in West Tennessee getting a little late start because of heat issues. A cold front kind of came through. When we left Jackson, it was 101 degrees. When we arrived here, it was 75. So a dramatic 26 degree drop in temperature. Well, you know how I am. I'll leave my jacket drive. fourth quarter yeah, and I didn't bring it. Where's, where's your sweater, Gramps? <laughs> I can't wait to break out those sweaters. I love those sweaters. You and your you and your sweaters and, and, and what was the mayor's name that you and him always had the same type of shoes? Oh, my Oxfords. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, the mayor, former uh, mayor of Jackson. Uh, Jer Jerry Gist. Jerry Gist. Reggie wears those too. Here's a big ball. Beard and Alcoa tied at 14. How about that? Well, the ball will be at the 35, 33 yard line. First and 10. Lions already lead the game 21 0. Bales hands it off. Running back, new running back. Is that Hank? No, that's uh, running that ball. Will be hammering. Hammer Hank, Hank carried it. Miller. Yeah, hammering Hank carried it. Hammer. He's going to pick up first down yardage on his first carry for the year. Well, the type music they played here tonight, which we've loved, we could hear hammer time later. Break it down. Yeah, break it down. 2.15 left. Oh, we're in mid-season oh, form, baby. I set him up, folks. Mid-season form. He needs to buy me a seven on the way home. I am. I'll tell you a little story about coming up here where we stopped to eat, too, uh, Jay. Oh, no. We stopped at a restaurant. 
I have to go in and use the restroom. So I'm, I tell Stan, I'm just going to order in the restroom. Stan goes through the drive You're going to order in the restroom? I'm going to order my food later. And I come out, Stan's already gone through. He's already ready to get up here. Here's a handoff oh. to Kai. What a hole. Uh-oh. 50, Uh-oh. 45, Uh-oh. another great block. He's 35, going. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Lakai. 56 yards for Lakai Tompkins. Lakai Tompkins on the uh, 141, and Stan, great blocking by receivers and the offensive line. Let's give them a lot of credit. Did you see, if we get another replay on this, I don't know if we can or not, but he made a little juke stop and go that just froze them at their feet. It really did. Bales had to attempt the PAT again. Who's that cameraman tonight? Is that uh, Mr. Bibb up there tonight? No. Who is up there? That's Mr. Lewis. Brett Lewis. Oh, oh, Brett Lewis is up there. I'm okay. He drives the bus. He I know works Bib the is camera. A coach. I thought he was up there with him, probably helping him too. We appreciate Mr. Lewis. Larry's here, I think, tonight, his dad. Here's his CJ's granddad. Kick up by Vales. Yes. 28 to nothing with 141 left. And Stan, it's a route thus far. All Lions back after this 30. On the Trinity <laughs> Christian Academy Facebook page presented by the Ball Game Blitz and Worthy Road Studios. Believe in family. Believe in your fellow man. Believe in daddy-daughter dances, home-cooked meals, and bedtime stories. Believe in honesty and an honest day's work. Believe that love and faith make the world a better place. We do because we believe in you. We're Farm Bureau Insurance, and we don't just believe in Tennessee. Tennesseans. Farm Bureau Insurance. Tennessee's insurance company. Call Farm Bureau agent Travis Vance at 731-661-0102 or see him at 285 North Parkway in Jackson. Travis Vance, not as only he a great insurance agent, he's also my personal insurance agent. And Diamond, he also drove the team trailer holding all the equipment to the game tonight. Yeah, he came in that electric fence just the way you and I did along with Jay. Turned into a lovely night here tonight. Best night of the season thus far. Here's the kick. And that's the fifth touchback of the year the for Joshua Delk, D-E-L-K. Okay, Diamond, if you're wondering about things, they've changed the uh, uh, mercy rule thing. At half, if you're leading by 30 at the half now, they will go to the mercy rule. TCA already up 28 to nothing here with a buck 41 to go in the first quarter. Boy, we were not hitting on all cylinders last week. We are running perfectly tonight. Doing a lot of things right, no doubt about it. Throwing, running, blocking, tackling, everything's been a piece of art tonight. Well, Lambert, the quarterback, back there again in the pistol. He's got a running back wide behind him. Two receivers here to the near side. 28 is the running back, they tell us. A new running back. Here's the play fake and almost another INT for Gabe Lee. If the ball had been thrown a little bit lower, he'd have had his second interception the running back that time was evan messner you know gabe lee last year we saw him really mature as a defensive back specializing in those shoestring catches or those shoestring tackles and developing into a fine receiver the little general is meister the junior running back 5 10 180 is back there here's lambert Hands it to him this time. He finds a hole. He finds running room. Big He's room. at the 35, the 40, the 45. And finally grabbing him and pulling him down to the turf at the 48-yard line is one Braden Waller. He may have saved a touchdown. So that was uh, 30, 29 yards for Mr. Wyatt on the play. They found a hole there on that left side of that defensive line, the right side of the offensive line. They have a big, pretty big line but nothing compares to what we saw last week offensively and defensive lines of Chester County. Mr. Wyatt with 45 yards in the night. That carries. offensive line last week, Sam, may have been the biggest <laughs> offensive line I've seen in high school in a while. Would it's, you agree? They are pretty, and they still only won by four. Yep. Here's the handoff oh. this time. And hello, Hammer and Hank says, oh. not this time, big boy. You're going down for a loss. Meister goes down for about a four-yard loss. You know, give him three yards. He, wa- he wore number 51 last week. My favorite player, Dick Buckus, even though he's back to his 22, he's still playing like the greatest linebacker who ever played the game, Dick Buckus. And his, again, his sister, she may have made the short trip from Tennessee Tech over here to watch the game, but he takes all of his athletic ability, nothing from his dad, but from his mom and sister. Absolutely. Got to be second down and 13. The ball at the 45-yard line. Lambert in the gun. Quick throw in the middle and a quick oh. pop. 
and then it's uh, going to be caught there that time by Spencer. Miller hit him first. He didn't go down, but then the second wave got there, and he goes yeah. down after a pickup of maybe two. I, th yeah, I thought he got – Yeah, I thought the knee dragged. But oh, did it? Yeah, he's gonna, I thought the knee was knocked down, but short game of maybe one on the play. It's third and 11. You like when those knees go down, don't you? <laughs> it, it, that, that means the play's supposed to That's stop. That's right. Third down, 11. Timeout on the field. It's the end of the first quarter play. At the end of one quarter play here in Franklin, Tennessee, it's Trinity Christian Academy 28. Grace Christian Academy 0. We're back after this on the Ball Game Blitz. For over 60 years, Keen Tire Company has been your trusted source for quality tires and auto care. Since 1959, our family-owned business, now managed by our third generation, has proudly served the community with three locations, East End Drive in Humboldt, Old Hickory Boulevard in Jackson, and Airways Boulevard in Jackson. From tires and alignments to oil changes, general repair, brakes, belts, hoses, radiators, and more, King Tire Company has the expertise and service you can count on. King Tire Company, keeping you on the road since 1959. Hi, I'm Stan Gerard for your local Food Right. Food Right is the home of the butcher. Food Right is proud to sell certified Angus beef. It's the very best there is. All of our beef, signature pork, and chicken products are cut and packed fresh daily by our in store butchers. To feed your family well, Food Right, with 11 locations across West Tennessee, is where you need to go. Have a great day, everyone, and much more importantly, God bless. All oh, the fine folks at Food Right and the great meat at Food Right. Official stats from the first half, TCA with 266 yards of offense in the first half. GCA with 61, USJ leads the Golden Tide 14 to nothing in that ball game. We will see those folks in McClellan Road next week. Ironically, they're playing here tonight. I saw the light. I'm not sure if that's a pun ah, meant to us from last now year. Now we get it. That's the way it was. When, when the lights went out, that Lion Phil. I get it. That was pretty nice. Third down 11. Lions need a stop here. They lead 28-0, though. Here's the throw out in the flat. It's caught by Meisner. He makes a couple of guys miss. This kid can run. 45-40, 35-30 on his feet, and finally brought down and chased down by TCA's Owen Atwood. He saved a touchdown, but Meisner said he made on the quick popper, he caught it, a little bubble screen, and he made about three guys miss. 20, 30, 40. 21-yard line. 43 yards to Meisner on that play. Boy, he's been impressive with a run and now a catch and a run, hasn't it? Ball to 21, first and 10, hash mark right. Lambert. Rose left, wants to throw, throws it out there, and oh, what a hit. quickly after the catch. That was it's Gabe Lee. caught by Gillis, and then very quickly, Gabe Lee catches him. No Gillis game. with 10 yards. Oh, he's going to pick up one on the Maybe board. a yard, yep. Short game, second and nine. Gabe Lee's had a really good game. Interception, tackle, almost another interception, a nice catch. The Lee family synonymous with success at TCA. West Carroll leads Harding 14 and nothing in that game. Second and nine from the 20. Lambert drops. Lambert throws. Lambert over the middle. It's caught. That's Meisner again. Meisner behind a couple big guys. He's got yardage against Stan. He's down inside the 15, down to about the 10 yard line. Yeah, pickup of uh, 10. C.J. Lewis with the tackle. They're going to say Meisner with nine on that play. Enough for a first down. First down, Lions. Well, the ball will be at about the 12-yard line, first and 10. Second time tonight, they've headed in TCA territory. Lee picked off the pass, negating a possible chance for them to score earlier. Rosemark leads Gibson County, 7 to nothing. Two receivers here to the near side. Lambert, good-looking thrower back there. Hands it off. Meisner, uh -oh. oh. Hello. Again, Hammer and Hank got him. And he picked up Hank nothing. You're going to see Hammer and Hank. He's going to come on a blitz right up the middle. He was not touched on that play. And he pounds him into the ground. Did that just that. And you described it beautifully. Well, not any gain at all. And a loss of about four. And the ball back to about the 25-yard line, third and 14. Lambert. And the pistol is Meisner right behind him. He looks and throws in the end zone. Incomplete. Tipped up in the air and almost INT'd. 
And for those of you may wonder why the camera couldn't turn anymore, it's a very tight situation, that press box. That's as far to the right as that camera angle can yes. go on there. So it's not the, it's not bad camera. So it's you'll as have far to trust as it can go us. without yeah. working, working, looking at a piece of wood. You'll have to trust us, and trusting us could be not Dangerous. very good for your health. Hardin County leads Giles County 7 to nothing. 10.05 left, 28 nothing. And here's Lambert in that gun again. Back to his right is Meisner. High snap, pulls it down, throws, incomplete. No flag, great block or great breakup that time. And that's, is that C.J. Lewis again? No, that's going to be Waller. Waller comes up a little lame, but he got there right when the ball got there. No flag, and it's going to be the Lions taking over. Tell you what, the quarterback for Grace Franklin, quick release. He really does. Dude throws some fire. Davidson, the sophomore, was the intended receiver. Well, they're going to, excuse me, it's fourth down. They're going to attempt to field goal. I thought that was the fourth down. I apologize. So it's going to be a it's going to be Stevenson, the sophomore, attempting a 33-yard field goal attempt. Uh-uh, and blocked. that went awry from the snap. That was blocked, and it's going to be TCA taking over. Well, we'll see if we can see that one again. The low snap to start it, Sam. Okay. Sure, we're going to get the here. We go with the here Chuck we go. Hutton the Chuck replay. Hutton Nissan replay. We've had Chuck Hutton on the first downs and replays. Is Ball will go to the twenty, and TC will take over first and ten. Second quarter will be brought to you now by King Tire Company. Heard from Kirk today, Stan. Jackson Christian leading by eight to nothing. First quarter was brought to you by Chuck Hutton, as well as the first down. It's going to be first and ten lines now. They'll have the ball deep in their own territory at about the 21-yard line. This is as deep as we've been all night. Cooper Bales has Miller back there. Tompkins getting a break. They actually have Tompkins out of the slot to the far side right. And remember, he was very effective on that jet sweep. Went for the 56-yard touchdown off of the jet sweep. Sure did. Here's Bales throwing it. They go out there in the flat to Tompkins, try to isolate him. And he did just that. And Tompkins has big nine. yardage, about eight or nine yards, up to almost the 30-yard line. One of the things you're going to see with Lakai, when Lakai is a running back fixed in there, teams this year key on, remember he had 1,540 yards last year. Teams are selling out to stop him running the ball between the tackles. Our job is to get him out on the wings and give him more opportunities to make yards, and you just see where he's done it on the jet sweep, and now the reception very effectively. Second down, and it's going to be second and a short eight, long seven. Take your pick. Wyatt made the stop on that play, by the way, if you're keeping score at home. And if you are, seek counsel. Yep, Freddie Garrett does that. Bales drops back. Pressure. Bales throws, and it's going to be caught by Waller. Waller midfield. Waller 45. Back Still tracking. going. Waller down to the 40. Inside the 40, down to the 35. Uh, yeah, the last 34. 10 yards, he ran backwards and picked 16, up yards. 26, 30. So what was the line of scrimmage? Down to the Lions 36. The Lions have something cooking in. They lead the game with 8.56 in this first half, they lead the game 28-0. Bales caught Waller over the middle. They caught him, but they were trying to get him down, and he was just running backwards. Unofficially, 224 yards from Waller. We'll have to. Uh, he may be going to record books here. Yeah, we'll soon. Ch we'll check with uh, GCA as the official score for this ball game. So we'll check with them and see what they have for him at the at the half. Well, the offensive line has done a remarkable, great job tonight. I mean, they've just done a wonderful job correcting or caught. protecting. Here's the ball caught. Is that Caleb Williams that caught that ball? It is Caleb Williams. And it's going to be a pickup. Caleb Williams with the short gain. Of about the 30 is where they'll mark it. Let's wait and see where they untangle things. like a pickup of about 32. three. Yeah. Second down and seven, a short seven. Stan, the difference in last week's offensive line and tonight, Well, that big line just wore us down. I thought we did a good job for a lot of times, but. He was running a lot. Here's the pass under thrown there. Or excuse me, the uh, receiver inside Waller. Williams. Or Williams caught it. Excuse me. He was down a short route. Down to 22. Route. Is enough for a first down. So Watch that him. was Waller. A, Waller limped quite vigorously a moment ago. Let's make sure he's okay. I think he's all right. That's about a six-yard game for the for Caleb. He is Kevin Hanson's over here talking to Gabe Lee right below us here. Mac McGee down there. Sarah and 
Casey watching tonight. Mom and Dad going to be dropping back. Bales open, drove, open, open. Tries to go to Waller and threw that one out of the end zone. They had a man yeah. crossing yeah. on the post pattern deep in the middle. Wide open, did not see him as we went for the corner route. I know, knew that I should have brought my jacket tonight. Oh, nice coverage David. It's going to be cool later tonight. I love it. 741. Maybe my air conditioner won't run as much. 28 nothing. Well, you almost froze me out coming up here. Here's oh. Miller in the pistol behind Bales. Third down and 10. Change should be, the play. Should be third down. I thought we picked up a couple of yards while I go stand. Maybe not. So it's going to be Bales in the gun. Doubles far side right. Bales looks that way, throws that way, oh, and behind. it's caught. Oh. And let's see if he caught the ball. They're going to give a catch. Sliding to the turf on the backside. That's caught by Delt. Nice coverage on the play. No, they say incomplete now. Incomplete. They say incomplete. Second, the ball the turf. second time in two Third weeks he's had a sliding down. catch called incomplete. Yeah. So it's going to be fourth down now. I'll oh, make it third down in 10. Those, who, those of you who know, you know. Michael Mancini up top calling out the play to the uh, coaches down below us here. Good coaching staff. Looks like a bunch of third base coaches down the way they're sitting in those yeah, hand signals. Yeah, they're doing the hand signal. Third down and 10. Ball at the 24-yard line. Bales puts Tompkins in motion. You see him coming right at you there. Drops back, wants to throw. Pressure. Rolling, 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 rolling. Come and back. Now he's just going to throw that away. Good decision by Bales. Good pressure on the play by Jarrison Fan. Forces on that play, what we needed to do, 10, receivers out here in this corner, they saw he was under pressure. You need to come back for that one, and you can make something happen on that play, but we threw it out of bounds. TCA started this drive at their own 25. They moved it down inside the 25, barely inside the 25 of Grace Christian, and now it's fourth down, fourth and ten. So TCA naturally going to go for it here in the red zone. You've got nothing to lose. No, no doubt. Running clock in the second half if you're leading by 30 at the break. Let's see if TCA can make that happen. Bales rolls right. Bales is going to keep it and then throw it on the pitch back to Miller. Miller turns the corner. Miller has yeah. running room. Miller has the first down. He's got a Chuck Hutton first down, and he's down near the goal line. And where do they mark him out, Stan? Uh, we're going to see here. He they. That was a tough catch that Hank made. There's 10-yard pickup. There's Great decision by Bales, though, wasn't it? There is a flag, Howard. There is a flag on the play, but it looks to be against Grace Franklin. Grace Christian Academy, Grace Christian Franklin. 31 yards unofficial, two carries for Hammer and Hank. Leapers for it was pretty, though, wasn't it? Yes, it was. I'm going to take you home through there again personal foul after, after the play. To the Only took us about a little over an hour and 50 to get up here. It's not yeah, too right bad. At, right at, Hopefully we'll be home by well, midnight. Well, with you taking your time at, uh, at the uh, Arby's <laughs> yeah, that and at the other place, too, it was a little <laughs> I slow. I like to never got out of Wendy's. <laughs> well, the lines were long. But the, and the drive through was closed. Yeah, yeah, the drive through was closed. Hadn't figured that out yet. It's going to be first and goal. The ball inside the two. Hammer and Hank. Touchdown, Lions. 75-yard drive, Stan. Hammer and Hank just bulldozes his way in Miller, for his Hill. score. Three touchdown carries, 33 yards unofficially, and a touchdown for the young junior. You remember I put out a, I put out a piece of him this week. Said you better keep an eye on this kid. You sure did. And boys, he's showing out. You got a lot of hits game. on that too. Yes. Miller two-yard run, 75-yard drive, 718. I brought my flashlight, Stan. Look, look here. Oh. See that? It's going to be, I like to aggravate him, Jay. PAT by Bales, a sidewinder, but it's sidewinding its way through the uprights. It's good. 35 to nothing lines with 718, and TCA pouring it on here in the second quarter. Back there to this 30 on the TCA Football Network, Weather Road Studios, and the Ball Game Blitz. 
An automatic transmission and record service has been the trusted name in Jackson and West Tennessee for over 45 years. Our expert technicians, backed by over 125 years of combined experience, are here to handle your automatic transmission repair needs. Plus, our 24-hour record service ensures you're never stranded. Find us at 3846 Brownsville Highway in Jackson or call 731-422-6356. For reliable transmission repairs and your towing needs, you can count on Clement Transmission and Record Service. TCA with the 35 nothing lead at the 718 mark of the second quarter. Alongside the living legend Dime and Dave McCauley, I'm Stan Gerard, Jay Cashin, producing and directing uh, this broadcast. We come to you from somewhere between Leapers Fork and Franklin, <laughs> Tennessee, and it's all TCA as they lead 35 nothing. You know, this was a this was a GCA team that that only lost by seven to Nashville Christian last I year. I remember that, yes. And in a shootout, lost to FACS in the playoffs. Yep. 52-46. Here's Delk. You do a great job with your game notes. That was six touchback of the year for Delk. Well, I'm not sure that Leapers Fork has a chamber of commerce, but if they do, they need to give you an eye. Yeah, we need a cut. Because we're really giving them a lot of air time tonight. Well, Stan, we'll keep it here this time. Jay Cashin, our great producer and director. At halftime, we'll have a scoring recap for you in stats, but, man, it's just been a dominating affair by the Lions of TCA tonight. I mean, Grace Franklin's moved the ball a couple of times through the air, but TC, when when you get when they when they have to, the TCA defense, they stiffen up, and TCA just dominating. Uh, you've got USJ leading Union City with 7-12 to go in the half, 21-7, and we'll have more scores after this play. 20-yard line. Lambert throws it out here, and that ball, oh, my, what a defensive play, a gem. Ladies and gentlemen, what a play defensively. Watch Receiver this. out there, and watch this replay. Owen Atwood. The big O. Look at this play. Watch him stand. Being held and still makes a huge play. I mean, he had a guy blocking, a guy trying to get the pass, and he went right through both of them legally. North side leads Liberty 21-6, to and they – well, our, our friend Mr. Shields needs to update his scoreboard a little bit. Second and 10, Lambert throws this time and overthrows that one quite a bit. Intended receiver was Ben Hastings, and he didn't come close. Haywood leads NBA 22 to nothing in that ball. We have several games uh, starting late tonight. Greenfield uh, leads 6 nothing with a few seconds before the half. Running clock in this second half if TCA keeps pouring it on like this. They lead the game 35 zip. Third down and 10 from his own 20. Lambert claps those hands, looks this way, throws it, and didn't come close. Stan, he threw the ball beautifully in the first quarter, but this quarter's been a struggle for him throwing it. Yeah. Great coverage by TCA anyway. TCA getting great coverage. D-line putting some pressure on him. Too. And I was, you stole my thunder, Dave, and good pressure coming up the middle, pushing him back, and kind of collapsing again. He didn't have anywhere to go. Has to try and get rid of it early, incomplete. A very quiet, eerily quiet crowd across the way. 7.04 left. We're on the visitor side in a really nice cool. pavilion here. We, yeah. We, yeah, it's a pavilion type building with the uh, ceiling fans going. Yeah. Keeping me warm, keep, keeping you cool. I'm about to freeze. Oh. It's a uh, 7.04. Would you like to, for me to wrap this <laughs> shawl around you, Dave? I brought a towel. There. Oh, that's nice. Here's Lambert to kick it away. Best punt of the night. He boomed it. But it does Robert not take a great roll. It takes a nice roll for T.C. And will be down at the 48-yard line. That thing hit the midfield strike right on the line stand, and it just stopped dead, didn't it? Went you back two yards. You only wish your nine iron could do that thing. That would be a six iron for me there. From 50 yards, I can believe it. <laughs> All right, it's going to be first and ten lines. They leave the game 35 nothing. 6.52 left in the half. And they'll have the ball at the 48-yard line of the Lions of Grace Christian. Reminding you folks that this quarter being brought to you by Kurt King, Chris, and all the gang at King Tire Company. Two great locations in Jackson and one in Humboldt, an institution in West Tennessee. First and 10, 48-yard line. Chuck Cutting, of course, our first down sponsor, first quarter sponsor. Lakai's back in the game in the pistol. Vales gives it Lakai. Lakai, big hold. Lakai, 35. Lakai, 30. A great block. 
and it's going to be Lakai inside the 15 down to about the 10 yard line. What a nice block by Caleb Williams downfield. But that offensive line did a beautiful job, Stan, opening up a big hole. And you see Coach uh, Bowling turning around, talking to Chris Tucker, the freak, and they're both smiling. Well, he is going to go down at about the 13 yard line. So I think TCA thought there was going to be a flag call on the whole stand, and I think that's why they're laughing. 13-yard line? Pick up a 35. 35 yards. Man, oh, man, they're piling up the yards, Stan. He's got 96 yards. Waller's got a lot of yards yeah. receiving. First and 10 at the 13. Lakai, this time they close that hole, but he spins off the would-be tacklers. He's going to get inside the 10-yard line. Nice Second effort there by Lakai, and the offensive line doing another good job. Pick up a four on the place, Lakai officially, with 100 yards on seven carries. Down to the nine. How many are you stand? 100 yards unofficially on seven carries. Here, you need my flashlight more than I need it. There you go. Try that. There you go. I'm a team player. Well, thank you, Dave. Got to be second down and six from the nine. Boy, and you and it, you, you look at. Um, you look at Lakai, and then you throw Hank Williams in. You know, that gives TC a great one-two punch. Really does. I mean, my daughter gave me that little thing. It's one of the little flashlights that has the. You've had that for a few years. I've now. had it forever, and that's been. You can wear it on the bill of your cap, or I put it on my computer at night sometimes too. Here's the pass, and incomplete. Boy, Vales threw one down to Delk. He had his hands on it, thrown it slightly behind him. If you'll watch the replay, well, I think. If, if you can see the, re you're going to see we did a great job faking. We faked the jet sweep there. We faked the handoff. And then on the look and pattern on the zip play, throwing a little high and behind him. Gabe Lee waving at us. Saying hello to mom, we wait dad, back. and grandmother and granddad. Chuck Hutton, Nissan replay that time. You got a great angle at it. Boy, they do a great job with that. Jay and the gang. Here's a ball out in the flat. Waller trying to block for Tompkins. Gives him a good block. He's inside the five. He's got. A first and goal and a nice block by Braden Waller that time, allowing Tompkins to pick up the first down, the Chuck Hutton first down, first and goal. Pick up about 10 on the play, two carries at 19 yards, 119 yards, unofficially total offense for Lakai Tompkins. Ball to seven, they say. Down to the six, we'll give him six and a half. How about that? Far side right this time will be Helton. He's out there with Atwood. Tompkins and the pistol behind Bales. They'll give it. No, they are going to give it to Lakai. There's a scrub there. Not much. Good defense maybe one. that time. Down to maybe the five or six. Let's call it second and goal from just inside the six. I'll give them 101 yards. We passed the one-on-one -on, -one on the way up here. He sure did. Beautiful scenery on that. Uh, what was that? Highway 46? 46. And Jackson Christian leading P by eight to nothing. Second and goal. At some point in the second quarter, no clock. Well, that uh, Peabody team got throttled yeah. last week, didn't they, by USJ? Yeah, at least in our games, we give you a clock. Keen Tire Company, second quarter. Keen Jewelers, Jones, Chevrolet, the Blacksmith. You see our corner sponsors. Ooh. Bales play fakes. Bales throws over the middle. Caught. Touchdown, Caleb Williams. Caleb Williams on the look-in slam. Six yards, Dan. Uh, 15 yards on three reception. The touchdown. And TCA now the 41 to nothing lead. Boy, Vales has been on target all night. Brilliant night. It's 44 to nothing. He's about to attempt another PAT. That capped off a 48 yard drive. And it's 44 to nothing. Vales again to Bales attempt a PAT. About around 260 yards unofficially throwing the football. We'll get some, hopefully, get some stats at halftime from the folks that. At Grace Franklin, snap, place, kick. It's up, and it's good. Uh, 42 to nothing, TC with 4.27 to go in the second quarter. We're back after this on the ball game blitz. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. 
Shop Jones Chevrolet Humboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Roberts Jewelers, West Tennessee's premier luxury diamond jewelry store, family owned and operated for 78 years. Owner Janet Silver has a passion for hand selecting the best luxury jewelry from around the world. Roberts has the largest estate jewelry and diamond selection in West Tennessee. Roberts does custom design jewelry in their RJK state of the art custom design studio. Chris Case is the most certified jewelry design expert in the area. Book your custom design experience now at Roberts Jewelers Inc. Roberts Jewelers, 405 Van Drive, where West Tennessee gets engaged. And welcome back to Grace Franklin. Folks, I'll tell you what, if you're not here, if you were here tonight and still watching this and you're here, you'd be digging the music they're playing here. Yeah, it's really, um, I think, been one of the best venues we've been to in a long time, and that's taking nothing away from all the other places we visit. Uniqueness of the setting of it, the venue itself, the hospitality, and add the music. And add a 45 nothing lead, and it's all been a good night, yeah. hasn't it? Jay likes it. That's going to make for a short trip home. It is. 427, here's the uh, kick, and it's going to be gathered in back at about the five-yard line. That's Meisner bringing it out. And Meisner's it, a tough it, little player. This kid's a good player, I'm telling you. Meisner's uh, you know, going to be a tough out for teams in the middle part of the state. Not real tall, but he's quick. And does a good job after the catch as well. You know, Stan, we're so low that we've got the best side of the players. It's almost like doing a basketball game, to be honest with you. And imagine a press row just elevated at about, well, a little bit further away. But four, I four, saw five rows elevated. I'm saying all that to say Kendall Boyle and out right in front of me, 5'10", 315. He's a big boy, you know. He Ooh, is he's a big, big boy. Bigger than even we gather from our own press box. Lakai Tompkins getting a break. Hand off Meisner, nothing this time. Uh -uh. On the stop, Joe Cole was in there. And also in the stop was um, Knox Atwood. Is he in there? 56, 54 is in the Should game. Be. That's Ethan Kaufman. Second down and 10. You've got Joe Cole playing middle linebacker now. Well, he had a brilliant middle school career, <laughs> didn't he? Junior high. Oh, great there. career offensively and defensively. And they've got a cat on the middle school roster now. It's going to really impress you. Here's the catch by Meisner. He's hit very quickly by Owen Atwood. Atwood Pick got up him up two. high. Lambert's pass is complete. And then up top was Gabe Lee. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm Fish gonna, caught it. Excuse I'm me. I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way here. Barring some unforeseen complications, I'm going to be barring a little jet pack from Mr. J. I'm going to make the trip down to Faye Academy for the middle school game on Thursday. We're going to get a look at a really good player for TCA. We'll have to keep, TCA. keep our tradition alive and go through McDonald's and wait 17 minutes. Uh, absolutely not. Here is uh, the handoff this oh, time. Nice tackle. And nothing there at all. A host of Lions. I could just name every one of them. Well, the twins are in there. Yep. The Dancy guys. Also, Blake Carlson was there. Oh, why don't we just call them the Brothers Dancy? Yeah, Brothers Dancy. Lions. Related to Kendall Dancy, one of the legendary basketball gurus of all time in West Tennessee. Clock running, 310. It's 45 to nothing. And it's fourth down and about six yards. Again, they're trying to draw TCA offside. That's not worked all night. Well, they go for it. No, they're going to punt it. Quick from the short kick. A little short kick, quick punt. And running nice away from kick. it very wisely will be Braden Waller. So oh. the ball will be down at about the 27-yard line, first and 10 there, the Lions. The Lions tonight stand 65-yard drive. Oh, excuse me, 68-yard drive, 32-yard drive, 83-yard drive. Then they had a 66-yard drive. How about another long drive and then 41-yard drive? And 42 to nothing with 2.49 to go. That's actually 48. I said 41. In the second quarter. It's going to be Tompkins back there again in the pistol behind Bales. Two receivers to the near side, two far side right, which is the right wide side of the field. Nice crowd here tonight. Great hospitality. Folks have treated us well here tonight. We've the seen Lions aren't being uh, really hospital guests, though, are they? No, we, we've seen Tompkins back there. We've seen Hammer and Hank. I'd like to see Joe Cole in the backfield too tonight. Bales has got to throw it. Pressure. Bales being flushed. Now he'll throw it, just fluttered here and throw it out of bounds. See, on that play, Lakai had, realizing that your quarterback is being pressured, Lakai was going to be the dump off on that play. Oh, we got cramps in the field, and I hate that when that happens. Gillis has come up with a 
Charlie Horse, it appears. Oh, and a little cramp here right in front of us. Those things hurt. Unfortunately, got out pre pickle juice. They always say pickle juice. Injured player was uh, Jacob Giles, the junior 6'2", 210 pound wide receiver as he goes off the field under his own uh, power and it'll be first and 10 Lions. We uh, stand, we thought it was a pass ball. It goes a long handoff as a matter of fact. And so that will change the stats a little bit. We'll sort that out at halftime. It's now 217 in the half, 42 to nothing. Right at 45 to nothing, Stan, but no, we, it's it was 42. 34, it's 35, you're right, 42 to nothing. We'll keep it here, reminding you of the halftime, we'll catch you abreast of all of our great sponsors. Stan did a great job a moment ago telling you the Blacksmith Restaurant, Chuck Hutton Nissan, Keen Tire Company, Jones Chevrolet, Deaton's Carpet, Elite Dental, Humboldt Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, McCoy's Heating and Air, King Jewelers, Foundation Bait, Grain American Sports, Fitzcapes Lawn Service, Summit of Jackson, Roberts Jewelers, Food Right, Waterwell Solutions, Justin Miller and the gang, Tennessee Tractor, Summit Jackson, Advanced Farm Bureau, PH Social, and Clement Transmission. The Millers set, Stan, if you're looking at the uh, podium at West Jackson Baptist Church, they set to the right up in the upper deck. I sit to the left. Here's an interesting score, Jackson Christian, eight, Peabody, seven. How about that? Second quarter. Tompkins back there again to that pistol. Atwood and Lake Helton here to the near side. I'd like to thank the Heltons uh, for delivering me and Miss Peggy a meal this week. They came out. We had a nice little conversation out there. They're wonderful people. They they're, did the same thing. They're good people. And it was good food, too. And when my wife became ill, they did the same thing. It was very gracious to us, like all the TCA family when she passed away back in May. I. Your luck a little bit. The folks from TCA step up to the occasion and do what they can to make things right. I thank the Lord every night for the TCA family, the Lambeth, Bethel family, and all the friends and people that listen to us through the years. And you're right, great Christian love, no doubt about it. Yep. They care about. You know, sometimes you'll hear people talk about the mission of schools and things, but not only do they have the mission, they live the mission. TCA and does. Quite sure the folks here at Grace Franklin yep. do exactly the same. Here's the um, jet sweep. Jet, well, they actually go out. They faked it to Waller, and they give it to Tompkins. He's running loose, Ooh. and he's across 10, the midfield stripe down to the 46 yard line. 27 yards. Watch this replay. Now, watch what happens here. You think Waller is going to get it, and watch this. I mean, he is in full beast mode there. I mean, when he caught it, he was running full speed, wasn't he? Yep. 45 yard line. It's going to be first and 10. Unofficially, unofficially, 10 carries, 131 yards. We'll see if we can get some official numbers at the half. I think we'll see more reserves in the game in the second half. It's going to be a running clock, 42 to nothing here. The Lions jumped out very quickly, took um, not a lot of time to get on the board to start with. 10 45, they scored at the eight minute mark, 330 mark, and 141 mark of the first quarter. And came right back and that put two more touchdowns here on the board. Vales throws it out here in the flats to Waller or make oh. it Delk. Delk never caught it, but they say, I guess they say he did because they say it's he a did. loose he ball. If you, if you watch the replay here, you will see where he catches the ball, makes two, three steps, then loses it, and then gets it back. So that is a completed pass loss on the play. remind you, please stay off the field. And it will be. Second about 15, and our first half has come to an end. Our score at the end of one half of play, it's the Lions of Trinity Christian Academy 42, the Lions of Grace Christian at Franklin 0. We'll be back after this on the Ball Game Blitz. Hey, Jackson, Chuck Hutton, Tennessee's trusted name in automotive excellence, is proud to announce the grand opening of Chuck Hutton Nissan. Now open at the I-40 and 45 Bypass right in the heart of Jackson. Come see why Chuck Hutton has been the go-to destination for car buyers in Memphis for over 100 years. Now we're bringing that same dedication and experience to Jackson. Come experience the Chuck Hutton difference for yourself. Chuck Hutton Nissan will have you saying, I'm going to Jackson. 
I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, a family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. Your checking account should be more than just a place to store your money. Our foundation benefits with high interest checking account, pays you interest, but also includes identity theft monitoring, cell phone protection, and roadside assistance. Start a financial conversation with us today by visiting our website, foundationbank.org, or call us on the number on your screen. In the meantime, God bless you. Terms and conditions apply. Foundation Bank is a member of FDIC and an equal housing lender. Let me tell you about the American dream. In 1974, I had $425 to my name. I bought 21 carpet remnants, rented an old lumber shed, and opened a Deaton Drug Barn on East College. I work long hours with hope of taking care of my family. I'm so thankful to Jesus who changed my life. He gave me a dream. So in 1985, we opened Deaton's Carpet One on the 45 bypass with a commitment to customer satisfaction. My friends, don't give up on your dream because your dream can come true. Why rent an apartment when you can lease a home? The Summit in Jackson offers two and three bedroom single family homes with lots of amenities. Enjoy the comfort and space in a gated community with smart technology, ADS security, and no maintenance. Short and long term leases are available, so visit our website or call to schedule your tour today at the Summit in Jackson. Warner Wealth Solutions LLC offers experienced and diversified services throughout the greater Tennessee area. Warner Wealth Solutions specializes in water well drilling operations. Their experience in the design, construction, and maintenance of wells from 4 to 16 inches in diameter and depths up to 1,000 feet. Water Wealth Solutions has three locations in Somerville, Brownsville, and Trenton. For a consultation, give them a call at 731-779-1275. For more than 60 years, Keen Tire Company has been your go-to source for quality tires and dependable auto care. Our Airways Boulevard location in Jackson has proudly served the community for decades, delivering the excellence you've come to rely on. Whether you need tires, oil changes, alignments, brakes, and more, Keen Tire Company has you covered. All tire sizes, ATV to light truck and beyond. Visit our Airways Boulevard location in Jackson today. Keen Tire Company, where long-standing tradition meets exceptional service. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. For the past 22 years, Tennessee Tractor has been committed to you, our customers. That's why our locally owned business delivers great John Deere products with great service at a great price. From the backyard to the back 40, whatever size project your family's got, you can rely on us to help you get it done. From our friendly staff to our reliable equipment and our quality service, Tennessee Tractor has one goal, to keep you and your family up and running. Hometown value, hometown service. That's Tennessee Tractor. I'm Jay Cash and welcome back everybody. I'm Dave McCulley, Worthy Road Studios and the Ball Game Blitz on the Trinity Christian Academy Facebook page. It's TCA football and it's been really TCA football at its very best tonight. Lions lead the game here 42 to nothing. I'm Dave McCulley along with Stan Gerard, along with Jay. Mr. Lewis, Brett is our cameraman tonight doing a great job and the night has turned out tonight to be a lovely night, a lot cooler here than it is back home after a weather front came through here with some thunderstorms and showers. And the Lions have showered tonight brilliantly offensively and defensively. They, de they lead the game 42 to nothing. Here's how they did it. At the 10:45 mark of the first stanza, Bales to Waller, a big touchdown pass of 65 yards, capping off a 68-yard drive. And the Bales PAT made it 7 nothing. Two minutes and 45 seconds later at the eight minute mark, Tompkins a one yard run capping off a 32 yard drive. That came as a result of a three up and three down defensive effort by the Lions and a very poor punt by Lambert, their punter. Lions scored, they also PAT made it 14 nothing. At the 330 mark, an 83 yard touchdown pass from Bales to Waller again, 83 yard drive, 21 nothing after the Bales PAT. Then with under two minutes at 141 of the second quarter, brought to you by Kurt King and Chris and the gang at King Tire Company. A 56 yard strike this time. Tompkins, the big run, made it 27-0. Bales to PAT, that capped off a 66 yard drive. 
And the Lions led 28 0, and that's how we stood at halftime. Two scores in the third quarter. Miller, a two yard run, capping off a long drive again. 34 0. And the Lions lead was 7 18 in the second. And then, if that wasn't enough, how about a six yard Williams catch from Bales, capping off a 48 yard drive after TJ came up with it at their own 48 after another great defensive stand at the 427 mark. It made it 42 nothing, and that's how we stand at the break. When we come back, Stan, the man, will have historical stats, for stats. You, and we'll have some historical stats for you. Don't go anywhere. This is a two-minute break at halftime. Lions lead the game 42 nothing here at Grace Christian. This is TCA football on Worthy Road Studios in the Ball Game Blitz. At Foundation Bank, we love working with small businesses, and we serve them uniquely through truly local decision making and underwriting. But we're more than a lender for your small business. We're also a source of financial counsel. Hey, running a small business can be hard and complex, but we can help. Let us learn more about your small business by visiting our website, it's foundationbank.org, or call us at the number on the screen. In the meantime, God bless you. Foundation Bank is a member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hi, I'm Cody Fitz with Fitzcapes. Our business's focus is on building your dream yard at your dream home. When designing our backyards, we always like to start with our pool and patio areas first, then we complement that with the landscaping, and we finish with the lawn for all of the outdoor entertaining needs. After installation is complete, we provide annual maintenance for all of your lawn care and landscaping needs. Fitzgates, let's build something beautiful. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports, make sports an addiction. No matter where you are, You can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Back here at the half, TCA leads 42 to nothing. We mentioned historical stats Folks, if you remember in last year's TCA at Bay Academy game, Waller, Braden Waller, caught passes for 341 yards. That was the third all-time mark for a single-game performance in TSSAA history. Braden Waller is only 120 yards away from tying his third-place mark, and he is only 69 yards away from having the 13th most receiving yards in a game. So Braden Waller with a chance, thank you so much. And Br Braden Waller with a chance, don't know how much he's gonna play in the second half, but Braden Waller within striking distance of TSSAA records once again. Here's some stats from the first half. Officially, Trinity Christian Academy with 413 yards of offense in the first half to 105 for Grace Franklin. For TCA, Lakai Tompkins, 10 carries, 134 yards and a touchdown. That on 56 yards. And Hank Miller with three carries for 33 yards and a touchdown. Receiving Lakai Tompkins, two for 19. Caleb Williams, three for 15 and a touchdown. Braden Waller, five catches, 221 yards and two touchdowns. Those touchdowns coming on receptions of 65 and 83. Gabe Lee has one for four. So TCA offensively hitting on all cylinders, and you've seen what TCA is doing defensively in this ball game. We're going to get out the time machine here, and we're going to uh, see if we can dig up some scores from West Tennessee here for you before we begin second half action. Get out of the TSSAA record book, and switch around a little bit here and we will see that FACS leads 
13 to six in their ball game over Lakeland Prep. Harding losing 20 to three at the half. Bay Academy's football game tonight officially canceled due to weather at Bolivar. So they've had some bad weather. The I don't know where that game's at, Bolivar at Fayette Academy. So down in the Fayette, Fayette County area, they've had some rough weather down there. That game probably will be rescheduled till tomorrow. Um, MASC at St. George's has been postponed due to weather. So Shelby County and what? Extreme Western Tennessee has had ball games postponed and canceled tonight. Bruins lead 28 to 10 over Union City at the halfback ball game at Union City. Collierville with the 9-3 lead at Beach. Remember, Collierville was played tough by Riverside last week. Taking a look at some other scores from around Tennessee. FACS, as we said, leads 30, 13 to six. At the half, Milan leads Chester County 30 to seven. Other scores from in and around West Tennessee. It's Jackson Christian eight, Peabody seven. Uh, let's see some other scores here. It is. Um, The Masters Academy of Eagles, the Masters Academy Eagles of Florida lead the Middle Tennessee Christian School of Cougars 13 to nothing at the half. Let's see other scores from in and around West Tennessee. We'll see West Carroll with a 23 lead over Harding. Haywood leads Memphis Business 22 to six. That ball game at the half. Again, JCS, eight Peabody, seven. That ball game in the second quarter, 11-15 in the second. That game must have got late started. Gleason leading the Vikings of Humboldt, 22 to seven in that ball game. Actually, it's the Perry Carey Vikings they lead, 22 to seven. Hardin County leads Giles County, 14 to nothing at the half. And other scores from in and around West Tennessee that we're going to find would be Kyerville League Beach, 9-3. And that is a look at our scores from West Tennessee. A lot of scores not being reported yet, but the one that we're, we care about at the half, TCA leads Grace Christian at Franklin, 42 to nothing. Alongside Diamond Dave McCauley, I'm Stan Gerard. We're getting set for second half action. Let's take a break and we'll be back with second half action right here on The Ball Game Blitz. King Jewelers is not your typical run-of-the-mill jewelry store. Grover is a certified jeweler with 35 years experience. This isn't just a jewelry store. It's an iconic symbol of love. How far would you go for love? King Jewelers, 16B, Conrad Drive, Jackson. For over 60 years, King Tire Company has been a trusted name in quality tires and auto care. Proudly serving the Jackson community for decades from our old Hickory Boulevard location. With tires, alignments, oil changes, AC repairs, brakes, belts, hoses, radiator repair, and more. King Tire Company delivers the expertise and reliability you can depend on. Visit King Tire Company on Old Hickory Boulevard in Jackson today, where decades of experience meet top-notch service. Don't get hit with big repair bills. Keep your heating system off the disabled list with a preseason checkout from McCoy's Heating and Air Conditioning. Our technicians are specially trained to get your system in shape for the fall and winter seasons. You can sit back and enjoy the game knowing our York certified and trained technicians can repair or replace your HVAC system, keeping everyone happy and you off the bench. Let McCoy's tackle your system's maintenance. Your HVAC system's MVP, McCoy's Heating and Air. Believe in family. Believe in your fellow man. Believe in daddy-daughter dances, home-cooked meals, and bedtime stories. 
Believe in honesty and an honest day's work. Believe that love and faith make the world a better place. We do because we believe in you. We're Farm Bureau Insurance, and we don't just believe in Tennessee. We believe in Tennesseans. Farm Bureau Insurance, Tennessee's insurance company. Call Farm Bureau agent Travis Vance at 731-661-0102 or see him at 285 North Parkway in Jackson. For over 60 years, King Tire Company has been your trusted source for quality tires and auto care. Since 1959, our family-owned business, now managed by our third generation, has proudly served the community with three locations, East End Drive in Humboldt, Old Hickory Boulevard in Jackson, and Airways Boulevard in Jackson. From tires and alignments to oil changes, general repair, brakes, belts, hoses, radiators, and more, King Tire Company has the expertise and service you can count on. King Tire Company, keeping you on the road since 1959. Hi, I'm Stan Gerard for your local Food Right. Food Right is the home of the butcher. Food Right is proud to sell certified Angus beef. It's the very best there is. All of our beef, signature pork, and chicken products are cut and packed fresh daily by our in store butchers. To feed your family well, Food Right, with 11 locations across West Tennessee, is where you need to go. Have a great day, everyone, and much more importantly, God bless. Automatic Transmission and Wrecker Service has been the trusted name in Jackson and West Tennessee for over 45 years. Our expert technicians, backed by over 125 years of combined experience, are here to handle your automatic transmission repair needs. Plus, our 24-hour Wrecker Service ensures you're never stranded. Find us at 3846 Brownsville Highway in Jackson or call 731-422-6356. For reliable transmission repairs and your towing needs, you can count on Clement Transmission and Wrecker Service. As we're back, getting set for second half action, Diamond TC leads 42 to nothing. The only real question in this game is what will the final score be? One thing's for sure, you and I will sleep a lot better tonight than we did a week ago on Friday night. Yeah, no doubt about it. And a running clock here could be a quickly played second half. Gail Presley came over talking to us. Was Miss Gail Said to tell you hello, yep. We'll remind everybody this is a copyright broadcast of Worthy Road Studios for 2014. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, editing, and further use of this ball game blitz broadcast without the expressed written consent of Worthy Road Studios is hereby and strictly prohibited. Folks, you don't want to do it. You don't want Dave McCulley to come to your house and mess with you for messing with broadcast rights. Oh, that would be Ashley Paul Schultze. Worthy Road aren't Studios. You his, aren't you his hit man, though? I'm sorry? Aren't you his hit man? Uh, no, no, I'm not. He'd be in trouble if I was. So we get ready to begin this third stanza, running clock. As the kickoff will be by Delt. Back to receive this kick will be Heron is one of the guys back there. And they had earlier too, they had Spencer back there. I think that's the same guys. A little tough for us to see, with, especially now the lights were so low, the lights sort of coming in at us. You almost have to, like you're shading your eyes from the sun almost. Great night here tonight. And here's the kick. And inside the five yard line, back near the goal line, bringing it out. That's going to be Spencer. Spencer, far side right. He's got some running room. And then the Lions put him to the turf nice at about the 30 yard line, about 30 yard return. 21. Lions will take over around that 30 yard line. 46, 46, 56. Larry, Larry about, about 200, about, and I'm guesstimating about 260 yards passing for TCA in the first half of play. First and 10, the ball at about the 30, let's see where they mark it, Stan, 30-yard line, first and 10. Outlet and pass. A drop pass. That was a forward pass. It dropped. Yeah. Overled that time. Hey, the smart move, though, to go pick bit. it up and, and go sure ahead did. and take it because you never yeah. know. That's exactly right. With some of the crazy things we saw last week, you never know what, what, what might happen. Now, what's the total yards for? It was 413 to 105 at the half. Yep. You know, they, had a, they had a couple of good drives, and now we get a mark off, five-yard penalty on the Lions. Taylor Allen, former Lions, says hello and thanks and for what he does. Defense. Taylor, Move you're the fireman and you're the medic. We thank Lions. you for what you do. Aubrey and Holly Richardson tuned in. Taylor Allen, you mentioned. Peggy Scarlett, Larry My Miss Peggy, doing better, by the way. 21, 21. Here is uh, the handoff on a... First and five, and a first down to the 40-yard line. Got um, a lot of folks that yep. tune in week to week. For some reason, I'm not getting the 
the total numbers up in the corner like I usually do, but that's Facebook. First down at the 40-yard line, hash mark right, first and 10. 42 nothing. Lions lead the game, running clock third. Uh, Swing pass, almost, almost intercepted. Almost intercepted. Blake Helton read it beautifully, oh, oh, oh. and the Blake Meister almost come up with a, I mean, he tried, been a pick six. If oh, he, 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 he was going to one-hand that, and he, he was already taken to the house. Kendall Boyle out there as well and running some interference. I'll tell you what, Kendall Boyle, not the tallest of cats. He is basically a giant fire plug. Kendall had a big game last week, Stan. You had him with uh, – we had him with eight total tackles last week. Yep. Here's the handoff this time, a little running back, a little scat back up to about the 45. Yeah, pick up Going to be up four. short, about four to the 44. Third Ken and four. Yeah, or Kendall Boyle, third six. he was making a lot of tackles the behind the third linebackers, down, behind – the defensive backs, Kendall Boyle, uh, yeah, he's going to time out 15 seconds in a 100-yard dash. But for a, for, for a 5 to 10-yard run, Kendall Boyle is quick. Big numbers last week tackling. Miller had 15, 11 by C.J. Lewis. It's going to be third down and six. The ball to 44. Dropping back, throwing, and caught. Should be and short. Let's see where they mark it. Lambert's and it's very close. I think Fish. he got it. Uh, he sh Left short. foot he has it, right foot he doesn't. Yeah. No, fourth and inches, you're right. Well, obviously they'll go for it. <laughs> yeah. Already down to 9.25 here in this third stanza, running clock. TC leads 42 zip. Fish. A little confusion there, what they want to do with the slot guy, and then TC threatens the blitz. I heard not CJ, but uh, Hammer and Hank. They try to draw us up sides. Hammer Hank comes charge up and just puts on the brakes. TCA with a five-man front. They throw it out there in the flat, and they threw it behind the line of scrimmage. And, and that's lost not a, yard. a good play there. And they lost a yard, and the Lions yeah. have it, and they've turned them over. Great swarming Last defense by TCA. Look at that. No, they give him the first down. down. What? Boy, I thought he was a yard short. I thought they lost uh, yardage. Well, I, we don't have the greatest angle, though. We're so no. low. Yeah. We're up 42 to nothing. Who are, who are we to complain? Oh, that's exactly right. We're not going to do that tonight. No, we never complain anyway, do we, Jay? No. 840 left in the third. Here's the play fake. They throw it out to the right. Little bubble screen and nothing Don't there this time. Yard. Lost a yard that time. A host of lines rush through and watch the replay of this one. Read beautifully and executed beautifully defensively. Oh, great job as we float out there, Red lost yards again. They've had several plays of minus yards as one dancer replaces another. You could say they're dancing into the moonlight. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that'd be the kind of music theme we've had tonight. Eight minutes left in the third. I like these running clocks when we're two hours on the road. Back, Lambert throws, and he got a man wide open and missed him. Boy, he had... That would have been six written all over it. Fish couldn't get the bait. You know, you, you think you said two hours down the road night. That could be a great country song. Two hours on the road, I'm going to make it home tonight. Yep, but we're up 42 nothing. You'd have to put that lyric in there somewhere. Running clock, despite the fact incomplete pass. He had Fish wide open. I'm not sure how we lost him. That's the best looking attempt they've had to score on the pass well, tonight. He couldn't hook him in on that play. Hand off this time. That's Meisner again. Boy, that kid can run. He's inside TCA's 40, inside the 35, down to the 30, and finally run out of bounds over there. About what, 23, 24 yeah, 23 yards. Meisner. He's inside the 35 yard line. Now they're the 30. Nice job by the o -line. There's Great 10, Wyatt. 15. That's Wyatt that carried it. Excuse me, 21. About 23 yards. It wasn't 28, it was 21. That was Wyatt then. Yeah, that was Wyatt. It's Hunter H. Wyatt. Sounds like a law firm, an attorney, doesn't it? Hunter H. Wyatt, attorney at law. Yeah. This time, uh -uh. he gets back to line of scrimmage. He didn't get there. He stopped very quickly that time. And Wyatt. He was adjudicated on the play. Yeah, court closed that time, didn't it? I like that. 6.33, J. What was He's that driving home. He's got to call Lisa and says, I don't know how many times I can take these guys anymore. 6.25 clock running. Quickly played third quarter, isn't it, Stan? Yep. The Lions Heyman lead 42 would be proud of us. He would be. He did those short post games. Lions get a little pressure, but not much over the middle and a short pass, and then caught very quickly, and the tackle by Lake Helton. Lake's played well tonight. Yep. 
Takes his athletic ability from his sister and his mother, Melissa. I can attest to that. Yeah, no doubt. 5.57 left. Will Keltner checking in. Fish caught it. Get it? Fish caught it. They reeled it. He reeled it in. He reeled it in. <laughs> Here's, uh, it's 42 nothing, folks. Trying to have a little fun with it. The Lions almost jumped, but they did not. Lambert throws oh, a fluttering ball and almost picked off. Great job. Watch you here on the replay. Is that, uh, again, was that uh, lead back there that almost picked that off? Watch you there. He comes, he's going to come flying in there and knock the ball out of bounds. He sees rotating over there on the top of your screen. Bam, knocks it out of bounds. Well, he read that beautifully too, didn't he? If only the telestrator was working. Down to 5.13 left clock running. Fourth at about eight. Back, Lambert, Lambert throws a bullet and it's caught, touchdown. Beautiful throw and a great catch on a great pattern run by the receiver. Who caught that, Stan, can you tell? Uh, Lambert's pass is complete to Kobe Sarnicki for the Lions Colton touchdown. Barnicky. I'm looking for him on my stat sheet. Just trust me, Colton Barnkey. All right. How many yards was that, Stan? Uh, that, my friends, was about a 32-yard reception, if I'm not mistaken. Lambert, 32 yards, and it makes it 42 to 6. First time tonight, the crowd across the way, which is a big one, they've got their stands pretty well filled over there, the home stands. First time tonight, we heard them much. I heard a, a, a whistle. Apparently, some folks from Riverside made it up for the game with the horn going off. Yeah. I feel that they, they, they may get a treat come the Riverside game this year. Under five minutes, 458. A little confusion on what they want to do here. Uh, it's the first extra point attempt of the year, and they're short a guy. Yep. Short of blocking. Now they're going to kick the PAT. I think they thought they were going to go for two. Into That's attempt the PAT will be uh, 36. That's Maddox Stevenson. Yep. Snap back, ball down, kick up, and it is good. It's 42 to 7. And the Lions of Grace Christian says, well, we can play a little bit too. Back after this quick 30, Lions still in complete control with 4.58 in the third. Stay with us. This is TCA Football for the Road Studios in the Ball Game Blitz. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not, shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Hey Jackson, Chuck Hutton, Tennessee's trusted name in automotive excellence, is proud to announce the grand opening of Chuck Hutton Nissan. Now open at the I-40 and 45 bypass right in the heart of Jackson. Come see why Chuck Hutton has been the go-to destination for car buyers in Memphis for over 100 years. Now we're bringing that same dedication and experience to Jackson. Come experience the Chuck Hutton difference for yourself. Chuck Hutton Nissan will have you saying, I'm going to Jackson. And we're back with 4.58 to go in the third quarter, running clock here in the second half. GC just got on the board. They, TCA leads 42 to 7. Muggy Macy Lee watching, the boggy Scott Davis watching in my hometown of Evansville. Angela Snyder, the counselor, watching. I saw where Joshua Delk's family was watching. Big hello to them. The sidewinder gathered in on the run. Coming right at us will be Joe Cole. So Joe Cole gets his yeah. gets a little up to about the thirty. Yeah. Well, no, that Joe Cole's eleven. That yeah, wasn't I thought eleven. That was eleven. No, he didn't carry the ball. He came Hard in. Hard to see. But yeah. it looks like Joe's going to stay on offense, Atwood maybe. On the yep, Joe Atwood. Cole. It was Brought Atwood on the return. Joe Cole going to get a little yeah, taste of running back and be the. Third tailback used by TCA tonight. Oh, and Atwood's in their quarterback as well. Tell you what, oh, and Atwood's got some quick feet. I hope we can see an option play out of him. Oh, and we'll be in the gun with Cole and the pistol behind him. Doubles, far side left. Doubles here on the near side. Lakai's still in the game. He's in the slot here. Looks like Lake Hilton. Can't tell because of the we're so low. I'm looking through our bench here. But it's first and 10 to 30. And here's the handoff to Joe Cole. And, no, it's going to be the quarterback. Play faked it. And then Atwood tried to throw it out here to Tompkin. Incomplete. Uh-oh. Atwood took a hard he, hit. He got abused a little bit on the play, but he's up. He's tough. He fooled me, but he did not fool the uh, Grace 
Christian. Well defended Lions. play by Grace Franklin. You know, this year the uh, TCA Lions are going to have a two or three high school JV games this year, which has been a rarity. All right. 325 clock running. I know you said you like those coaches. Mm -hmm. Cole in the pistol behind Atwood. Tompkins still in the slot here. They throw it. Tompkins is going to block for Lake Helton. Helton gets good running rooms and then bobbles it. It's loose, but it goes out of bounds. So the pickup for Helton. Looks like it's going to be about eight on the play. So it's going to be at the 38. It's going to be third down and two. Man, I really liked it. I wish we were upstairs. I, I would love the view from upstairs here. It just remind me. It remind me exactly of playing LL. No, goal. he got. You know, excuse me. We don't have the greatest angles. We do not have the so greatest got, angles yeah. again. But he got the first down. The he ball bobbled out of bounds, and it goes out at the forty. So it's first and ten. Well, the one thing we can say, you know, a lot of folks wondered, well, was is Grace Christian were they going to reload or have to rebuild? They lost a lot of quality players off of a very good football team last year. They're unfortunate this year. It looks like it's going to be a little bit of a rebuilding mode, but that quarterback they have has got a nice arm, and you can build around that. Sure. Meisner and, uh, you know, some others. They've got some talent on this team. No doubt. Atwood with the running back right behind him. He gives it to Joe Cole. No, no, he does not. He, he play faked it, then gave it to Tompkins, and Tompkins, oh, oh my goodness, he came within a whisper of scoring across midfield, 10, slicing, slicing his way to the 40, and knocked down there. Stan, if they don't get that, he's got another touchdown. Yeah, pick up 24 on the play. Lakai wearing the purple shoes, and what's, what's this? I mean, he came within a whisper of breaking that one. Three Great carries. play fake by Owen Atwood, Stan, excuse yep. me. Three carries and a Richard Petty for Lakai Tompkins. That's yeah. 43 yards, by nice, the way. Nice uh, sub. Nice thrust by the offensive line that time. Ball's at the, what, 36? 36 Maybe 37. 37-yard line, first and 10. Lee and also right there at the far side is Helton. Tompkins stays in with the receiver here on the near side, too. And play faked again this time. They throw it underneath. Tompkins trying to get the block. Flag. For White, but nowhere to go. At the 35, it'll be a hold. Yep. Clock down to a minute 15 in the uh, third stanza. Block in the back, they say. So even though, you know, is it, well, we got a lot of second team guys in. TCA still moving the football. They really are. That one's going to go back to the 45. Knows the ball at the 45. Lions led 42 to nothing at the break. We're late third stanza. No score here by the Lions of TCA, but the Lions of Grace Christian have a score. So you're gonna have, you're gonna have um, Joe Cole as the tailback. Wygott's gonna be Lakai. Helton's out there too. Lee's out there. Yeah. Lee at the slot. Who's up top? Jason White's right in front of me here. With up top is Lee and um, Helton. Throw underneath. Caught. caught. That's actually Helton here on the near side. Caught it. Tumbles his Pick way down to about the 40. That was first and 15. Now it's. Pick up what about four? Uh, let's give him about three sets. Give him second, well, second down at about 15 yards, 14 yards. Ball and T.J. just taking a lot of time before they yeah. even snap the ball, utilizing the clock to their benefit, <laughs> and that would be the last play of the third quarter. Your score, 42-7 Lions of T.C.A. over the Lions of Grace Christian. We'll take a one-minute break, be back for the final frame. The clock still running back after this on Weather Road Studios in the Ball Game Blitz. Hello, I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, a family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. Your checking account should be more than just a place to store your money. Our foundation benefits with high interest checking account, pays you interest, but also includes identity theft monitoring, cell phone protection, and roadside assistance. Start a financial conversation with us today by visiting our website, foundationbank.org, or call us on the number on your screen. In the meantime, God bless you. Terms and conditions apply. Foundation Bank is a member of FDIC and an equal housing lender. Let me tell you about the American dream. In 1974, I had $425 to my name. I bought 21 carpet remnants, rented an old lumber shed, and opened a Deaton Drug Barn on East College. I work long hours with hope of taking care of my family. I'm so thankful to Jesus who changed my life. He gave me a dream. 
So in 1985, we opened Deaton's Carpet One on the 45 Bypass with a commitment to customer satisfaction. My friends, don't give up on your dream because your dream can come true. Back here as we get ready to start the fourth quarter play, TCA lead 42 to seven. Milan leads Chester County 38 to seven in the third quarter of that ball game. North Point Christian 14, Magnolia zero. Uh, let's see what else we can find for you. Not seeing a lot of T or Jackson score area scores. Greenfield leads Stewart County 30 to nothing. Bump, bump, bump. I got it in there for you, Dave. Yeah, you did. One of my favorite songs, Sweet Caroline, and the strings of that in the background. Here's a wobbler. Oh. Down and Tompkins couldn't come up with it. And, boy, deck right when he threw it was Atwood, and sort of a fluttering ball, and Tompkins tried to turn and couldn't come up with it. Well, we have a lot of great friends of ours that are Cardinal fans. I haven't given a lot of baseball scores in the first two games yet. But I will give you this one. You Cardinal fans, just Whoa. forgive me. Yankee Stadium tonight, Yankee 6, Cardinals 3. At the half, Jackson Christian 15, Peabody 14. We got a ball game over there on the uh, west side of Jackson right now. Some of those Cardinal fans, very special friends of mine, you know who you are. 11-15. Too many of them to mention, I guess, but some of them really special friends. Here is... Uh, the handoff and dropping the ball cold. It hit him in the knees. Now the ball still loose. The scramble for it. DC says they come back up with it, but boy, Grace Christian looked like they had it for a second. Mm. Let's I don't see. know if they ever really had the ball. Let's watch the replay. Yeah. North side leads 21 to 6. Jay's done a great job tonight. Here's that Chuck Hutton Nissan replay. Watch that. I don't think he really ever had great possession of it. Just bobbled it off his. It came out of his hands, off his knee, and then went forward. And after all of that, it's fourth and about a yard. Union City trying to rally at USJ. USJ leads by 11, 28, 17. What's that score again? 28, 17. What's that? Uh, trying to Peabody score again with uh, 15, 14 Jackson. at the half. Peabody over Jackson Christian. Jackson oh, Christian, Christian over Peabody. Peabody. Excuse me. Atwood drops back, flushed out of the pocket. Run, baby, run. And he's going to run that football. He's got big oh. running room. Boy, what a play. Inside the 10, inside the 5. Touchdown, the big O. Oh, and Atwood. That is going to be a 36-yard touchdown Owen. run touchdown. for Owen Atwood. Nice run. Coming Told you, Owen. Nine, oh, make it the 10-minute mark. Owen Atwood has me. wheels. Just like Caleb Williams has wheels, so is Owen Atwood. You could tell when he put that ball out there like a loaf of bread, buddy. He knew exactly. He had a gaping hole, knew exactly he, what to he do was, with it. He was he? taking that ball and saying, come get me. Yeah. 48 to 7. All lines of this one. First quarter, the undoing, if you're a Grace Christian fan, it was 28 nothing, And then 35, we'll make it 42 nothing at the break. Bales again. Get the lemon out for the right leg. He's used it a lot tonight. It is up, and it is good. 49 to 7. Running clock. We're back after this with T.C. coming back to West Tennessee with a big road win. Stay with us, everybody, on Where the Road Studios in the Ballgame Blitz. Why rent an apartment when you can lease a home? The Summit in Jackson offers two- and three-bedroom single-family homes with lots of amenities. Enjoy the comfort and space in a gated community with smart technology, ADS security, and no maintenance. Short and long-term leases are available, so visit our website or call to schedule your tour today at the Summit in Jackson. Walker Wealth Solutions LLC offers experienced and diversified services throughout the greater Tennessee area. Walker Wealth Solutions specializes in water well drilling operations. They are experienced in the design, construction, and maintenance of wells from 4 to 16 inches in diameter and depths up to 1,000 feet. Water Wealth Solutions has three locations in Somerville, Brownsville, and Trenton. For a consultation, give them a call at 731-779-1275. Well, the music's been great tonight, the hospitality's been great, and the lines have been great. Welcome back, everybody. Diamond David Cully, along with Stan Gerard, Jay Cashin, the best we've ever worked with, and he's doing a great job down to our left. And, Stan, it's all lines, and, boy, over oh, that would put a little icing on the cake, didn't it? Oh, a little icing on the cake, and it has certainly been Eminence front for the Lions tonight. I like that song. You're right. That is a great intro song for basketball and other sports. And the kick 
is back near the goal line, but bringing oh, it Oh my gosh! And it's going to be the running back coming right at us. Boy, this, they've got a couple of scat backs that can really run, and now bringing it back up to about let's, the let's, let's 35 see. yard line. We want to see a replay on that if we can, because there, there was a collision. There's going to be a collision right here, and bam! You know who was involved in that collision? Hammer and Hank Miller. Hammer, Hank. Harris brought it back, and he got hit right. Gabe Lee got him, and a nice return by I mean, Harris. Hank, Hank. Johiah, Johiah Harris. Hank hit that guy, and the guy was just going, trying to catch his breath as he goes backwards. It was, he leveled him. Hopefully, the way Kevin Hansen and their trainer is out now is too. He had the longer way to come. Uh, both trainers out there, and the way they're reacting, Stan, is just a, maybe yeah. a Charlie horse. Yeah, those cramps are not fun. Uh, uh, trust me. One thing's one thing's for sure, Diamond Dave. Try having a try having a cramp during the middle of a two point or one point game in front of fifteen thousand people. Yeah, that is that was me. That is tough. It was not fun. So that's your claim to fame. No. At Wright's High School. No. Big hand for Josiah Heron. Harris Heron is Heron that goes out wearing Jeff Shepard's number fifteen. Nine thirty three. We're in the fourth quarter. One score here by the Lions and one score by the other Lions, the home Lions, here in this second half, and my, it's my 49 to, to 7. Was, my claim to fame was my junior year. I'd, I'd be a guy in the sectional wrestling championship who finished third in the country. In I, oh, my goodness. The, How about that? In the country. Well, congratulations. That's something to be proud of. And handoff running back, nothing there. I mean, absolutely the door shut right at the line of scrimmage. They untangle the bodies, and we'll tell you the guy that got there. Check that senior year, not junior year. Well, that's a great tackle, that backfield. I mean, just wonderful execution. Dancy in, dancy out. Down to nine minutes left. Shoot a body across way, trying to get something going yeah. over there for the uh, Grace that's Christian. A nice it's crowd for Grace Christian tonight. It's a big crowd over there. It's a good crowd here tonight. The school enrollment's a little larger than TCA, we're told. Beautiful campus. Slanted pass, <laughs> Gabe Lee caught the guy after he caught it and just slammed him like a wrestler to the third. And the thing is that they're just now op building, opening a new high school campus yeah. just down the road. Got the baseball field, complete AstroTurf or wherever, you, complete turf field. Highway 46 over here off 840. We were trying to, Stan and I was talking a couple of times about we were probably driving by famous people's homes. We just didn't know who they were. We, we started asked stop, they Jay. say yeah. they couldn't tell us. Yeah, we started starting knocking on doors. Are you famous? But we didn't. Better judgment prevail. Better judgments prevail tonight than last week, boy, the way we played. Slant caught. Boy, it's a nice catch on a nice pass and a missed tackle. And at the 45-yard line with that football is going to be Let's raised. see that again if we can. Nice catch. First nice nicely thrown ball. Stan, he's got a good arm. Gabe Lee went for the hit, just did not wrap up on that one. Hit him a little too high on the play. 45-yard line, first and 10. Joe Cole, middle linebacker, as we Grace said Christian. earlier. Yep. Also in the game for the Lions. Get some numbers out here for you. That's Davis in the game. And, and who makes that tackle? Hammer, Joe, Joe Cole. Joe Cole, yeah. Hammer hangs out. It's been tough for him to do it. And that, that carry by, by Reed. Cole. And Joe Cole, J.C. got him and stopped him with maybe a yard, half a yard pickup. And that's about it. 40, I don't know. No gain at all. Joe Cole, one of a one of a few uh, eighth graders last year, who made their varsity debut on the baseball team. Joe Joe Cole's a fine baseball player as well. Second down and ten. Lambert drops. Lambert throws. And it's a forward pass, but he overleads Clayton Reed that time incomplete. If we had been a couple of steps quicker, that'd have been pick six. Third down and ten. Let's let him hear. We're down to six fifty left in the game. Apparently, somebody famous is here. They just announced them. They haven't announced our names yet, Dave. I'm not sure. It got to be someone famous. It got a good, good crowd. Well, you're you're there. already out of glossies. <laughs> Third down and ten. Lambert throws left and incomplete. Good Tell coverage you what, by Gabe Lee again. He's had a sensational night defensively and offensively. It was um, on that play. It was. Um, Kendall Boyle making the big push up the middle, getting his big old meat hook in there, and the guy had to adjust his throw just to get over Kendall Boyle, who was 
barreling in there. He was this disruptor that time, wasn't he? He's playing nasty. Ball still at the 45-yard line, fourth and 10 now. Six minutes left. They've tried to draw T.C. offside all night, and it yet. hasn't worked yet. Yep. Look at the linemen stand. They're looking right at the ball down there. Uh, they throw forward. it underneath that time. That is a forward uh -uh. pass. Maybe, but nothing maybe two, there. Maybe, maybe a three. yard or two, and that's it. I went out with it on the stop across the way. Riverside leads Lexington 28 to nothing. Wow. That's – Riverside may not be as uh, – What's that score again? 28 to nothing. Riverside, remember, they barely got beat by Collierville last week. Riverside may not be as down as some people think. It sounds like they didn't rebuild. They reloaded a little bit. We'll see them in a few weeks here some at things, TCA. Some things come in cycles, don't they? You know? Yep. Well, with five minutes plus, Atwood stays out there quarterback. Cole stays in there to tailback. Some newcomers at the receiver spots. We'll spot those for you when we can. And it's first and 10 at the 45. TCA at their own 45, and the ball goes, that snap goes right by everyone. No, Joe Cole is going to pick it up. Then he's going to be tackled all the way back at about the 30-yard line. Loss of 15 yards, maybe yep. even more. Let's wait and see. Now Joe won't Joe won't get credit for that loss. That that'll go on the uh, that'll go they'll they'll actually pin that on the center. Yep, uh, he never got a hand on it until he picked it up back there, did he? I never he, thought I that was right, that, but you know Atwood. Uh, but the ball went by Atwood, and then Joe picked it up. Yep, you're right. It went sailing. Well, it's fourth, or make it second. And long, 5, 10, 50, about 15 yards. Coming on the four-minute mark here. And the Lions are going to come home with a big win. They'll go to one and one of the year and go to Kirkland Field next Friday. We'll be there. Pressure. They got pressure on Atwood. He runs out of it. Now they're going to corral him in the backfield and drop him for a loss, a sack. Spencer you know, that's the first the sack of the night by either team. It is. Spencer made the stop. They came from the back side on that play. Well, the over-under was 41, so if you bet the over, you're a winner. Third down and 20. <laughs> of course, we're a Christian school. We don't believe in betting. That's just a flashlight came in handy, didn't it? How you explain bingo? Well, 325 is fourth, or third down at about 20, maybe more, 5, 10, 15, 20. 20. Actually, we don't play bingo either. No, we don't. That would. Rolls here to the near side. Going to have to square and throw. Tuck and, and run. Gonna, yeah, he's going to show it early. He can run now. He tiptoes his way. Great feet as he tiptoed his way about five or six that more one yards. Out of bounds, run out of bounds at about the 30, let's see, they move him about 32-yard line, fourth and long. Showing the balance of a ballerina there as he danced down the sidelines. First punt of the night. We'll send out the special teams, the punting unit. And remember, one is the loneliest number. Yeah, we got to get this playlist, Dan. Oh, it's not one. Joshua Delk's on the punt. Delk back to punt it. Averaged 35 yards plus last week in the loss to Chester County. That piano, that piano riff to start was the same as one as Loneliest Number. Yeah, I remember that's a great song. Delk gets it away. Nice kick. A nice kick. And Big roll. a great TCA roll. A row down inside the 30 and about the 29-yard line. They'll be down there Delk by TCA, down at the 29 by Caleb line. Williams on the special teams. 40-plus yard kick. Yep. That's going to help his average a little bit. Oh, he did real well last year. A couple, last week had a couple kicks over the 40-yard mark. Yeah, 35.3, I think. Yep. So it's going to be first and 10 there with a minute 55. And barring something crazy, this will be the last possession of the uh, game. This Offensive thrust. I can't get over that score, Early Riverside. Stand, 28 to nothing over Lexington. Right Big Red struggling a little bit, too. Grid. I'm not taking anything away from Riverside. They saw your lead in the game. That new. Uh, not sure where that game was played. No, that game was played at Riverside, too. Was it? They still have one of the best traditions of intros yeah. of players anywhere when they come down through the crowd. Now. Fights through a couple of blockers. Grabbing him. That's. Uh, Case of White, who grabbed the running back and nice lassoed him down. Dancy on the tackle, the big man. We approach the one-minute mark of this fourth stanza and a running clock. 
Now going back and looking at my clock here, this half starts almost 9 o'clock. It's only been about a 30-minute second half. Pressure. Pressure and, and sack back there. And that's going to be White who made the sack. White. The freshman. White. The defensive lineman. Yeah, White goes to food right to get the sack for TCA. All right. We got a player down, too. Let's hope everybody's okay. Uh -oh. Kevin Hansen is running out on the field with 47 seconds. Well, you don't want to see anyone get hurt, but especially with 47 seconds left yeah. in the game, you hope maybe just the wind knocked out of him or something. Or just a cramp. Coach Bowling's gone out there. Oh, you just don't like to see it at the end of a ball game at yeah. all. And, of course, we don't show the injuries. We'll no, advise you that, that uh, let's take a break. Let's do this. Yep. Let's take a 30-second break. We'll come back, stand. We'll have some scores. We'll wrap. No, let's see. Ed, let's do that back right after this. Stay with us. Do you want to see mine at the end of the game? Please. At Foundation Bank, we love working with small businesses, and we serve them uniquely through truly local decision-making and underwriting. But we're more than a lender for your small business. We're also a source of financial counsel. Hey, running a small business can be hard and complex, but we can help. Let us learn more about your small business by visiting our website. It's foundationbank.org. Or call us at the number on the screen. In the meantime, God bless you. Foundation Bank is a member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. For more than 60 years, Keen Tire Company has been your go-to source for quality tires and dependable auto care. Our Airways Boulevard location in Jackson has proudly served the community for decades, delivering the excellence you've come to rely on. Whether you need tires, oil changes, alignments, brakes, and more, Keen Tire Company has you covered. All tire sizes, ATV to light truck and beyond. Visit our Airways Boulevard location in Jackson today. Keen Tire Company, where long-standing tradition meets exceptional service. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. For the past 22 years, Tennessee Tractor has been committed to you, our customers. That's why our locally owned business delivers great John Deere products with great service at a great price. From the backyard to the back 40, whatever size project your family's got, you can rely on us to help you get it done. From our friendly staff to our reliable equipment and our quality service, Tennessee Tractor has one goal, to keep you and your family up and running. Hometown value, hometown service. That's Tennessee Tractor. Diamond, Tanner Webb, the injured fly on the play, left knee injury of some sort. Yep, and say a little prayer for him, folks. Number 52, yep. Tanner Webb, as Coach Bowling went out along with Kevin Hansen to help him off the field. Tanner, the sophomore, 5'9", 180. And down to 37 seconds left here. We'll get one more play in this game. Haywood leads NBA 46-6. Um, final, Choctaws 54 to 14. Jacob Joyce is in the game, by the way. Let's get those names in. Go ahead, Stan. Yeah, USJ 42 to 17. Buck 53 to go in the third quarter. Sam Davis knocks Atwood all out of the game, in the game. Alcoa leads Beard in 24 22, a slugfest. Down to five seconds, four seconds. Here's the pass. Going to be complete. But the Lions are going to corral him at about the 43-yard line, and that's going to end your game. The happy final here, the Lions of TCA come here, and they win over Grace Christian, and they happy final again, 49-7. to Let's take a two-minute break. We'll be back to recap right after this. Stats and more. Stay with us. This is TCA football on a happy night here in Franklin. Say a prayer again for Tanner Webb. Back after this two-minute message on the Worthy Road Studios. And the ball game looks on the Trinity Christian Academy. Hi, I'm Cody Fitz with Fitzcapes. Our business's focus is on building your dream yard at your dream home. When designing our backyards, we always like to start with our pool and patio areas first. Then we complement that with the landscaping and we finish with the lawn for all of the outdoor entertaining needs. After installation is complete, we provide annual maintenance for all of your lawn care and landscaping needs. Fitzcapes, let's build something beautiful. 
American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports, make sports an addiction. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. King Jewelers is not your typical run-of-the-mill jewelry store. Grover is a certified jeweler with 35 years experience. This isn't just a jewelry store. It's an iconic symbol of love. How far would you go for love? King Jewelers, 16B Conrad Drive, Jackson. The happy final, TCA wins 49-7. Here's a look at the official statistics for the game. A leading rusher for GCA was Hunter Wild with 46 yards. Rushing for TCA, the Kai Tompkins, 10 carries, 134 yards and two touchdowns. The longest run was for 56. Owen Atwood, two rushes for 50 yards and a TD. It was Hammer and Hank Miller, three rushes for 33 yards and a touchdown. Um... Cooper Vale's passing the ball tonight. Larry, he was 11 of 16 for 238 yards, averaging 14.8 through three touchdown passes. His longest was 82. Owen Atwood, three of five for 40 yards. His longest pass was 24. Uh, for TCA, receiving Braden Waller, six receptions, 221 yards, three scores in the play. His longest was of 82. Uh, let's see. That was the bulk. That was the bulk of the TCA receiving game. So uh, can't find the uh, team stats yet on this particular computer program that I'm looking up. And thank you to the folks at Grace Franklin for allowing me to use their computer program to give you a quick look at some of the final stats in this ball game. TCA wins 49 to seven. USJ was leading big in their ball game. Jackson Christian was tight in a thriller. It was a one-point game the last we checked. We'll see if we can get a quick look at that one real quick. Give you some Jackson area scores before we bow out of here. Uh, still tight. One-point game, JCS and Peabody. Still a one-point game, 58-14. to 14. That game getting a delayed start, I assume, due to weather. And taking a look at some other stuff. Some scores not coming in. Riverside won 28 to nothing. West Carroll leads 28 to three over Harding. It was Haywood leading 38 to six over MBA. 44 to seven, Milan over Chester County. USJ leads 42 to 17 as we told you. We'll be there next week. Airtime 6.30 for the seven o'clock kickoff TCA at USJ. And Dyersburg, well, we thought Lake County was going to give them a go. Dyersburg went in a nasty attitude, and they won 49-6 to in that ball game. Choctaws moved to 2-0, 54-14 winners. And that looks like it's about it. Al an interesting score, did not West Tennessee. Alcoa and Beard, Alcoa leads 24-22. And it's a slugfest in that ball game. They're going back and forth in that ball game. And that's all we're going to see from around here for right now. Your final score, TCA 49 and Grace Franklin 7 with a final word. Here's Dave McCulley. Thank you very much, Dan. A special thanks to all the folks, uh, again, that uh, have tuned in tonight and watched it. Uh, they're taking Tanner Webb off on the uh, card over here to our right. Say a little prayer for him. A knee injury, apparently, with only 47 seconds left in the game. Our thoughts and prayers with he and his family. The Lions win it 49-7. to A special thanks for y'all of you have, uh, who have watched. 
Jay Cash and our producer and director, Stan Gerard, and yours truly, Diamond Dave. From Grace Christian here in Franklin, Tennessee, I'm Diamond Dave McCulley wishing you a good night, a blessed weekend, and we'll be back with you, as Stan said, next week, 630 from Kirkland Field out at USJ. Good night, everybody. Thank you.